Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, and here we are in the city of New Zealand. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. That would be absolutely fan flipping tastic. And what have we got planned for today? Well, last episode, we built this area here, which needs a few tweaks. There's been some suggestions from you, a couple of things that I noticed after I recorded it which we are going to fix up. We're also going to put a magnificent park in this area here. Have some great ideas for that. And as usual, there are some ideas from you lovely people. But we'll get to those in a moment. One of those ideas that I'm sure you're going to be putting in the last video, which I haven't released yet, but you've probably seen it already. Yeah, time travel. That's how it works. Is I've completely forgot that I have a metro line coming under here. I deliberately set out our Tarantula terminal uh, with all of our lines going out to our different areas, all of our tracks, whatever you want to call it. And this one here comes all the way down right into this new area by what is known at the moment as Elizabeth Square. And we've got all of these people. And what reminded me that that was in there, other than the fact you can see it underground, is when I came over here to this great big station we've got that's so super busy. Look at all the people here. And I looked at this stop. So can we find a green bus coming along here anywhere? I'm sure we will if we look hard enough. Oh man, the traffic has been getting worse and worse i seriously need to do something about how these people here get around it's annoying because they would walk but i put some buses in to try and help them and now they don't walk but then a lot of them are getting in their cars okay there's no uh, buses that i want coming along so if we go into here select our bus route there we go and we want yeah bus route number eight so if we have a look at that and pick this stop here there we go. So 470 odd people waiting. We've got the commuter destination mods. And if we see where all that they are going, they're all coming. Well, loads of them are coming over to our new area. Um, some are going back over here into the city. Some are eventually traveling. Yeah, it's probably about the furthest. But yeah, most of them are coming over here. And we do have a metro connection, of course, underneath here, which goes all the way up to T Rantula Terminal. So if we have this connection down here, we might just solve that problem. So let us get our metro station. Here it is. And I'm thinking of just adding in uh, one of these little small ones here. Yeah, I think on this side here, if we just take out a couple of things here, let's just take out that fence. We'll take out those little bushes at the front. Excellent. So that's going to fit in there absolutely perfectly for access to this area. What I am going to do is just copy that. Uh, copy, and I'm just going to put one there, one there. There we go, just to add a little something. And then we need to connect that up underground. So let's turn that on. And where is our line? There's our line. Excellent. So can I carefully delete this without messing anything up? Oh, sometimes I click with my mouse button and my mouse just moves. <laughs> it's like, no. Tunnel version. There we go. Right, let's see what we can do here. Is that connected up properly? I'm pretty sure it has. So now we can run a line from here all the way up into here so that's this central one isn't it that they're coming along that stop yeah it's that one there and back again why is it not showing up there we go complete line hang on a minute i don't think something's connected properly one sec right i've been trying to fix this problem with the metro line and we've gone up to acclaimed from renowned a whole load of extra students which is fantastic so what is oh that's up to level four so now we need to increase uh, increase our attractiveness and all sorts. So we'll get to working on that. Yeah, wh whatever happens, I just can't get a line to go from this metro up here and into here. If I click add stop, hover over any of these. I mean, this is the one where it's coming in and it's not working. Um, I've recreated all the line. I've deleted it. I've tested it by putting like a little metro stop up here and connecting it to that uh, tunnel that goes along there. This This one here. And I can literally connect it right at the end up here to one of these small little metro stations and I can draw a line to and from it. As soon as I try and go into here, cannot draw a line. I don't know what's going on. I've just thrown these services down here and it almost seems like there's no road connection going into this, which is causing a problem. I've just had a funny 
feeling. Let's just upgrade this road here. Just to a totally different bigger road. And just see if that has got something to do with it. I'm then just going to move that back so it's not overhanging. There we go. Suddenly vehicles are now driving up and going round there. I'm wondering if that was just it. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Let's just get rid of that line that wasn't working. So we're going to go from there into here. No, still not doing it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. If we manage to get that fixed a bit later, we'll come back to that. Um, I put a message on my Discord to see if we can sort that out and see what people come up with. Right, so why don't we get over to Elizabeth City Park. Now, what I'm thinking over here is to use something that's going to catch your eye as you come into the park. And I'm thinking of the Academic Library. So the bonuses of that, it's got a huge entertainment radius. So if we just sort of zoom out a bit, and that is going to really help this area here that's pretty low on the old park and entertainment radius, even with that building there. So I think that would be fantastic. And then behind that, we'll build in our big park. We may even add a couple of other little things over there. We shall see. So I'm just thinking how to do that off of here. I am thinking, let's have a look. I didn't want to just butt it straight up to this road, or do I? Rather than have another road coming off of it. Because I'm thinking how busy this is going to be with people stopping outside and things like that. Hmm. Do I have another road coming off of here? Let's just give it a little test and see what happens. It's going to be a small one new road two way. So let's just go for this. We, we, may, we may change this. We, we may. If it doesn't quite work out the way we think, we'll see how it goes. So... This is two junctions very close to each other, but I'll try and deal with it. If I go to there, then we can connect that up as well. Excellent. I may just change that. No, we'll leave that like it is. That'll be fine. And we'll grab that building, and we're going to pop that there. Oh, yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? That looks nice. I do like that. Excellent, excellent. Uh, let's just see. We get some bonuses from this as well. Uh, that will probably tell us in here. What does that say? Stores niche special collections from around the world. Oh, okay. So it's just like a unique building with the uh, entertainment radius around it. Excellent. Uh, then I'm going to put a little bit of parking down here. So again, I'm just going to use this road. And I want that as close as possible. So let's get... Actually, that'll do, because then we can put maybe a fence or something around there. Okay, that'll do, do well. I'm just thinking a couple of these little small car parks here. Nothing too fancy. Let's just pop one there, leave a gap in the middle, and one there. Yeah, that should be okay. We don't need this road here. And then we can sort of pretty those up. I'm thinking of maybe adding some little shop over here, perhaps. Yeah, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. So here, this is getting quite close with our junctions. Um, I was going to add... Actually, let's just change this. It's got traffic lights at the moment. So I'll give away signs so the main guys can continue on. Um, I am going to do a dedicated turning lane on this side for going in there. Um, for these ones coming out, let me think. If they come down there, they can switch lane to go over there. So, in fact, I'm also going to do whoops, a dedicated turn in lane there as well. And we'll see how that goes. That should be give way that way. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. I want no lane switch in there. So, pick your nodes. Then they can change at that node. Pick their lane again. Yeah, okay, that's good. So... Um, let us pop in. I'm going to grab that there. And we're also going to add a little connection. We take this one here. If I do something like that, is that going to mess up the connection over here? Will people still go on? No, it looks like they can still go on. Yep, there we go. They're walking on, which is good. Just use the move it more just to pop that straight into the corner, perhaps. Set that to the same height as that. Yep, there we go. That's good. So now they can walk from there to get over to here. Yeah, excellent. And then we want to start building up this. By the way, I can see all of these abandoned over here. That is just because of the education level. This is a brand new area and it's working its way through the education uh, until we get up to see what they're waiting for. 
Yeah, they need some more highly educated people. So it's getting there. It's getting there. Just a quick detour. I think we've discovered what is wrong with this. It's my understanding that with the 81 tile mod, it can cause problems with metro stations. I think it's just outside the original nine squares. I'm not 100% sure on all the details. What I did was I used the move it mod, selected that building, used the reset object button, uh, which is something people have told me about in the comments after I, I had this issue over here. And if we now look underneath, we can see that it's lifted up all of these lines because these uh, tunnels going in and out were completely level. But we can see that it's lifted them all up here. Um, if I unpause, hopefully these lines are going to draw themselves back in again. We'll see. And I bet now, as long as the height difference isn't too bad, I can draw in this it might be that i just need to redraw the lines uh, i keep saying lines the tunnels again yeah just to make sure they're all totally flat oh that's really annoying look at this one here it's put a big kink <laughs> in there big kinks in here but at least now we know what it was so let me get this sorted yeah it also seems that the way around i've had this facing that this is the front over here is that right and i've not had a road connecting to there which is another odd thing. Hmm. Anyway, I'll get this sorted out off camera and then we can start connecting all these back up again. Well, okay, that's taken a lot of faffing around. Uh, basically, if you want to get this fixed yourself and you sort of run into the problem I've had, uh, I've just had to delete it and place it again and get everything hooked up. So now I can place this line in. Let's get rid of that. We are going to go from there all the way to there. Oh, excellent. This has taken me so long. I've spent about an hour faffing around on this. I hate it when mods don't work as expected or give problems like this. Um, so that is Metro Line 8. And you just waste so much time trying to do it. So we've got two vehicles going backwards and forwards. We'll leave that as it is um, and see how that goes. This one has got a couple. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, line overview and this one here I want you to check as well yeah that's okay so hopefully now what we're going to see is some of these people here choosing to take the metro all the way up here to our tarantula station terminal whatever it's called and then back down here to elizabeth square maybe we'll see we'll see Okay, so I'm going to extend this road around the back here, and then we actually want to add in a proper park entrance. So this is going to be something that we're going to charge people to come into. Um, so what I'm going to do is maybe just do that up to there, and then we can have our park entrance here. This is going to be a city park. At some point in the future, we are going to add a massive national park all along these mountains here. It's going to be huge. Not quite sure how that's going to work out. It's going to cost us so much money to make it and to run the thing. But we shall see. We shall see. I want the park main gate on the end there. So there we go. Elizabeth City Park has become an official park that you can come and visit. Fantastic. So what are we going to have in the middle here? I do want some extra ways of getting in. Over here would be perfect for a side gate. Uh, small park main gate this will be the side gate so we're going to pop that in the middle there and then maybe down here as well not in park area okay yeah we can fix that zippity doo -dah. there we go so we're going to add one there and then i would like one over here to encourage people to come in this way as well so if we just increase this over here, there we go, very good. And then we could have it here, and then we could work out a path to get up and over the top. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, I've had a little bit of time over on the workshop, and I found some nice little flowery passages. So what I'm going to do is come over to an unused area of the map, plop, plop a park area down here and then lie these out oh i've got to have a main gate and then lie these out so i can see what they all look like and here we go these just look absolutely brilliant i will leave a link in the description below to all of the mods and assets that i am using and i will do my best 
to add this to the collection as well by the time this episode goes out. Oh, I love that one with the pergola. Oh, these just look beautiful, don't they? Brilliant. Okay, so let's see what we can do using these. Okay, so I'm just messing around with a couple of these here. How they work is they do need a path connection and they need to be inside a park zone. So I've got a path connection in the middle of these two here. So for instance, if I just move that up to there, do control H, get that all set at the right height. There we go. And then I would need to put just a little path in between these. There we go to connect those up like that. So that is not too shabby. It seems to have left a tree behind there. Let's have a look. So you walk in here. I have to line this up and you get this. Oh, look at that. Long walk all the way down to the end. And we can have something over here. I'm liking that. And then these connections could come over to the side. And this one could come over here. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, thinking of going with something like this to start off with. So you've almost got like a central plaza area that you come into. Then you can choose which direction you wish to head out, which is then going to give us more connections, which is good. So let's use the picker mod and plot one of these over here, not in park area. There we go. We'll just expand that ever so slightly. There we go. So let's grab that again. Come on, picker mod. I'm pressing it. There we go. Thank you, kind. <laughs> One of those days today, nothing is going right. Okay, pick a mod. I'm pressing it. I'm picking. Pick the darn thing before I lose my mind. Okay, I'm trying to find some sort of interesting ways to hook these things together. I think these are looking pretty swish. I've got these pergolas in here, which is nice. Got these lovely little walkways through the middle here. People are starting to use them already. You can meander your way up here. And I've just put a few of them next to each other. I know that these are generally designed to be put in between sort of buildings and things to give nice little walkways and plazas. But I'm loving the way these are looking. While we're in the middle of upgrading that, Orlando has upgraded as well and given us some new items, which is great because we are going to come and look at those new items in the future. Uh, we do need to go around all of our industry areas and make them a lot better. I'm just going to put some restrooms over here. So just before you would go into the park, then we could dot some of those around about here as well we'll have some restrooms over there i've put the bird and bee haven <laughs> bee haven area over here which i think fits in really nicely uh, we've got these three bridges that come across here to the other side which people are going through the gates correctly which is good over the railway line oh you're sneaking around the side i saw that you thought i didn't notice let's pull that out a bit Oi. <laughs> Stop it. Pay to get in. Don't be annoying. Anyway, so yeah, we've got those going across there. And yeah, I think we just need to sort of detail it up with a few more trees and things. And we're almost there.
So there we go. I'm really pleased with the way that this park in this area turned out. Let's get a big overall view. I think that just fits in there absolutely perfectly. It's going to be having a lot more tourists and visitors coming over here, making us money. I think it's already upgraded to level two. It has. We're going to up the money, try and make some more money out of this place. Heading towards level three. Visitors are going to keep on coming, so that's no problem. Entertainment till next level. Well, we've got 1,762 entertainment in here. So this will be up to level 5 in no problem at all amount of time. Yeah, that sentence didn't make any sense. But anyway, you get the idea. So now we're going to come over here. There was a few comments telling me that our oil area is importing um, oil because we're trying to base our whole production off of these three little teeny tiny oil pumps well, we have lots of other options available to us now let's just have a quick look in here yeah so we've got the small oil drilling rig uh, so compared to this one this gives us 4800 ish a week 6400 for that one and 9600 for that one which is pretty pretty large um so yeah we're gonna just up this and any extra we will make money out of it as well yeah there we go look so if we add that one onto the side there i might just do like a couple of these as well opposite that one just to try and sort of build out the area a little bit so that will definitely increase our production and now we've got so much being made. I'm going to see if I can add in this extra oil storage. Yes, we can fit in a couple of those, which is good. We'll just leave those on balanced. But I definitely think that's going to help this area produce more of the goods that we need. Oh, there we go. The oil area is upgraded with an offshore oil drilling platform. The Naphtha Cracker plant and a sneaker factory. Ah, oh, excellent. The Naphtha Cracker Plant is the upgraded version of the petrol chemical plant, if I remember correctly. So that's 4,000 units per week of plastic, and that one is 8,000 units per week. Let's have a look at that. So that is pretty large. That's going to take up a ton of space. Could we perhaps pop that over here? Let's have a look at our industry area. Yeah, got plenty of space in our industry area. Let us do that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this road here. And we're going to just bring that out and connect that to in there. Very good. And then we can just maybe use this road a little bit. Oh, actually, no, that's where all our resources are, aren't they? All on there. Yeah, so let's come out. Whoa, let's come out over here instead. I'm going to come up here. We're going to come straight across. I'm trying to sort of line this up if the game will let me. There we go. And then we'll curve that one around. Just get that one <laughs> to hook into here. Any any time you like. Okay, let's do that. Let's turn that one off. Let's do that one again. To there, to there. Yeah, excellent. That's what I want to do. Very good, very good. And then we'll take that and we'll add. I mean, that is pretty huge, that one. We're going to add that one in there. So that is going to add a whole load of extra plastic manufacturing, which is great. We're going to get the oil in here, which is going to come over. And what have we got? Petroleum. Just thinking of perhaps a local little storage area. Even though we've got plastic in other areas, just something like this. Oh, is that not going to fit in? Just a bit too large. How about if I anarchy that in? Oh, that's perfect. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just set that as plastic and empty so that'll be a buffer any extra plastic that comes out if needed to will go in there and then it will use the trucks here to send it out all over the place cool so just taking a look around our city that's orlando our oil industry is up to five star which is fantastic the elk oil area is up to five star which is fantastic our farm isn't i mean this is where we first started with our farm because the first area we built in was this one and this was the nearest fertile land we can get to i'm thinking of moving our farm area somewhere else 
that will enable us to expand our industry area over here and we could move it to a whole nother square we are heading up into this area and all of this is fertile land so we could literally put it anywhere and we've got this little area here the other side of the river that's nestled into the mountain i'm just wondering whether that would be a nice little spot let me know what you think ah yes here we are back over in this area that is absolutely rammed with all the people look the buses can't even get out into where they need to go it, this place is just rammed full of people that all want to get over into this area so what i'm thinking of doing is making a slight amendment to my metro plans if you remember before um, ignore the traffic percentages yet we'll be working on that in the future if you remember before i wanted everything to come up here and this to be a hub to change for everybody to get around to different areas but for instance if you were going to go from here to here you're not going to travel all the way up there and come back again are you so we need a metro stop that is easily available from this area and i'm thinking one of these teeny tiny buildings here would just be perfect if we did that that would fit under there nicely yeah and then if we connect that up to our metro here so let's go into tunnel view there we go we're going to take that one and i think once and for all this is going to solve our problem with everybody okay let's just try and get that straight coming out there thank you everybody trying to get over by bus or oh, causing all sorts of traffic jams let's curve that one around there we go and then we're going to have a stop running from and i know there is an above ground metro here but i'm hooking into the new below ground metro we're going to have a stop from there to there and back again there we go so then if they want to change here then they can head out over to here we could run all the way there but in the future once we build up all of this area we'll relook at all our metros but yeah for now that would be good so that's going to be number nine <laughs> and that's saying it's not working properly there we go the line completed not quite sure what happened there so i was just going to change the color of that let's go for a blue what are we going to get on here one vehicle because it's quite close i think there's going to be a lot of people using this so i'm going to go up to two vehicles and then i'm hoping that once everybody resets their idea of where they want to go and once the wait timer that there is kicks in that people are going to stop using this bus route and they're going to start getting down here into our metro so let's just keep an eye on this and see what happens Right, okay, so let's take a look at some of the traffic that I've been causing myself over the past couple of episodes, particularly in the new areas that we've been building, which are then backing up to other places. So over here in Elizabeth Square, we've got this exit right opposite Elizabeth City Park. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this. Thank you very much for popping that up and showing me how bad the traffic is every two seconds. Uh, let's put that back into that mode we are going to get a bike road that's one way coming in so if i turn that off we should be able to get this so we can all see what we're doing there we go and then we'll upgrade that road there we're just going to pause so that is going to become a way in and then we're going to have this one up here as a way out which actually that looked like it already was a one-way road yeah okay but anyway this isn't so busy over here we're gonna have that what other let's just have a quick look what other roads we've got up here yeah i think that should be fine uh this one along here i've upgraded it to be a four lane road just to give some extra space getting in and out so i'm now wondering whether i should do the same for this one here we've still got plenty of bike access through lots of other ways so i think i am also going to do that so let's just grab this road where's it gone where's it gone there it is we'll grab that one there and we'll do a little upgrade on the roads leading up to that and then we'll end up yeah sort of meeting here so i think that'll be okay so with that coming in let's just make sure we set that to keep going there we go i'm assuming you're wanting to turn down there and you're stopping for some reason 
Oh, you probably all got confused because we've changed direction. Oh, what have we got going on here? Acclaimed. Okay, that's fine. So that's going to stop all the cars coming out and hitting this area. What with the park and everything as well, it's going to get quite busy. And we're making some money. Yeah, making some money. It's upgrading, that's fine. Which means this area here is going to suddenly get busy. But if we give that dedicated turning lanes here... Um, one left, one right. I'm going to say you don't go straight over. If you want to go straight over, you go round the roundabout. I'm also going to say no lane switching in the middle. So use both lanes. And then also, what about giveaway signs? Yeah, you give way. Let these guys go. And then hopefully, this isn't going to be too bad. This will all keep going. Let's just have a quick look over here. At some point, we probably are going to need some traffic lights. But for now, let's leave that going. See how that goes. Then back over here with this big gridded area that we made before. We are getting some snarl up. So let's look at it in this view. Yeah, it's basically, I think, because this is so busy coming down here. It's then causing this roundabout to continue running all the time. Which means this all slows down because they can't get out. And it's just an ongoing mass of people. Let's have a look over here. This stop's gone down, actually. More people are using the subway, which is good. But so many come out of their cars. Let's just use the in-game tool here. They come out of their cars and instantly start walking. So if we turn all of these off and see... So the pedestrians are going everywhere, which is good. Let's turn the pedestrians off and actually look at private vehicles. That's interesting. Okay, it doesn't count it that way. Let me just take maybe this road here because most are going in that direction. So we can see where they start with the little blobs. So they are going over here. Lots of them coming up here. Up and down the highway in and out. It's almost like we need to give them another access. Where does this road go? So this road comes around, joins that roundabout, comes to a dead end. If we could add another road through here... And some of these might not all go that direction. Some of them might come up around this way. Let's have a look. That's quite a fast little road there, isn't it, as well, which is nice. Could we connect that into here? It would mean dropping down our railway line, relocating this elementary school. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, let's do it. So let's drop that, that, and that. Just enough to get this over the top there. Let's just shiftify this over. Oh, 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 let's undo that. There we go. Turn off the snapping. Let's just shiftify this over just enough to give us a little bit of space. And then we're going to get a this road here, uh, that one, and this one. And let's just see what we can do yeah let's anarchy that in there we go so we've got a little bridge connection over the top hopefully high enough for the trains but we can always adjust that if needed let's just go down a tiny touch more if we just move that back there we go excellent and then what we'll do we'll say here you give way and you give way rather than traffic lights you've got dedicated lanes to go in each direction and then they can sort of come into the back of this area here as opposed to going all the way down here all the way through there and then all the way over this way just another choice they might find that is better okay i'm just sitting and watching these cars over here and actually it is not going too bad there's a couple of little things i'd like to change i'd like to change that to have dedicated turning lanes um, i'd also like to say stop changing lanes in the middle there so they can change at this node or that node but keep on going through and already this this is the bit that it was backed up to so that's gone down which is good these guys are barely getting out i think they could probably do with an asymmetrical row but it's going to mess up my my lines i've put on there so i may adjust that and then they're coming down here i don't think they can switch lanes in the middle there no that's good so then it is just getting out on this roundabout as quick as possible Oh my goodness, look at all this. Look at all this. Mm. So I'm wondering whether this here, we could just change it to keep going. 
Because they're so taking their time to get out. Oh, what speed's that? 40. Just wonder if they could speed this roundabout up. Let's put it up to 60. I'm going to do that. Yeah, there we go. Just to get people getting round and off the roundabout quicker, which might make this go down a bit. Let's just keep our eyes on this for a sec. I mean, it's not ideal because now... It, yeah, look, it's just all gone down, but it blocks up this. So I'd always want give way there, but um, let's just change that back to give way again. Let's just keep an eye on this a second. Oh, definitely more cars. Uh, <laughs> definitely less cars coming down this road. So we just want to actually check that they're not all causing a problem up here. So it's along there, this roundabout over the top. Oh, look at that. No problem at all. As soon as they get here, they can split out in all sorts of different directions. That's good. So this is good. Less people waiting at the stop, which is good. So if this is better, that means these can start getting out quicker, which means then hopefully this will all clear up. So let's just have a quick look here what's going on. So they're crossing over the top. Uh, let's use the in-game tool. Let's use this here. So anybody going over the bridge, where are you going? So a lot of them are coming over and coming round onto the roundabout and out. So having another way of getting out down here would probably be a good idea. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Could we squeeze one in here without messing things up too much? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let, if we, oh, We're just going up messing up this roundabout, aren't we? Oh, it's going to happen. Actually, we'll undo that. If I put this on... Will that keep it? Well, no, that's even worse. <laughs> All right, I'll worry about the shape afterwards. What I want to do is move this round a bit, like this. Get this one round here a bit, and then I'm going to grab that one, and that is going to come in here, like that. Then we'll set the roundabout up again. Control Shift, left click. So that's all how it should be. Is it? No, we don't want this one over here. Let's do that there, and let's do it again. Control shift left click. There we go. That's good. And then hopefully, if we just sort of line this up. Yeah, that's nice and straight. That's okay with the bit. That's not too bad, is it? Nice and far away from each other. And then if I monkey with the shapes of these a bit, can we get this to be round? ish it's a bit bigger than it was before but why not so let's see then if less cars come through here because they're now going to use over here oh more cars are going in there as well all right let's keep an eye on that for a sec Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. No cars coming over this bridge. Traffic has cleared everywhere, all around here, which is absolutely brilliant. We have no traffic problems left at all. Yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't it, if that was the case? But we've still got a little bit down here. <laughs> as people are now reconsidering their options as to where to go. So we might just need to leave that running. See, as soon as you get this building up here, it's then blocking up all of this which causes another issue i'm just wondering whether as well whether we could get these guys and girls and access straight to the highway we've got the highway right here let's just zoom out a bit and we've got see this road under here connects to the highway so they can go that way which is good hmm i just wonder whether we get like a little slip lane out here that just goes straight across and adds a connection down here. I think we'll just try something. Why not? 72% traffic. Okay.
There we go. So we're going to lie. Whoa, these guys are all just going around the houses. Stop blocking up the traffic. So they all get a lane each to come onto there. Then they can merge down from four to... Oh, that's down to two, isn't it? Let's put that down to three. Can I pop that in there without breaking anything? Yeah, so four to three down to two. That is fine. So now they can come up there and go either way on the highway, which is fantastic. Let's just get some of these trees out the road, make it a bit safer. Uh, I'm also going to add down here. There we go. So they get a lane each there. They can change nodes there if they wish. So I'm going to stop that. Then they get a lane each there. Then they've got nodes to change. And then they head off into the bright blue yonder. So is that going to help and stop people coming out of here so much? That is definitely moving a bit better, isn't it? Look, it's not blocked up down there. That is not blocked up. This is not blocked up. What are we at? 72%. Well, overall, I'm just looking at this area. We're not going around the whole city at the moment, but this is clear. This is moving. This isn't all blocked up. This isn't. This is backed up a tiny bit. I mean, barely. Look, there's a few people there. This isn't blocked up. This is moving. This is just busy. I'm very pleased with that. Let's just check this other little new road to put in here. Not busy at all. Up here, our new roundabout opposite the park. That's okay. Coming in and out. There we go. So the area that we were looking at, not worrying about the whole rest of the city, <laughs> is looking much, much better. Fantastic. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in the city of New Zealand. So today we're going to be doing some fixing. There's some issues that we've got in our city that I want to take a hold of, that I want to sort out before they get into being problems that are huge and even more difficult to solve and would take copious amounts of tea. Um, but I think we can get a hold of these and sort them out today. One of them being the moving of our farm. So we started off building in this area and the first uh, industry normally that's available to you is farming. So we put a farming area down here and it's sort of being encroached now by the industry that's all along the side of our river sort of area here our seafront so i want to move it from there over to back here behind the area that we were building and i've got a little trick in mind that i'm hoping is going to work and not cause any problems and then depending on how much time we've got i want to do a load of detailing and some other fixes as well so we're going to try and do as much as we can today so let me just show you what i was thinking here so yeah we've got green tea fields farm oh look what a surprise the ui thing has moved um, and that takes up, let's have a look, that takes up about this much space, it doesn't need to, I don't know why it overhangs over there, but this much space here, and I want to move it to over here, so if we put our resources on, we can see there's enough space in here, I think we can do that. Now, what I'm going to do, because of the issue at the moment with 81 tile mod, uh, we've got to the point now where we can unlock all the tiles. So rather than unlock them one at a time and the issue with our Metro, which we've seen before, where we're now hit with that bug where every time we unlock a tile, it drops down all our Metro <laughs> tunnels, like two meters, then two meters, then two meters. I'm just going to unlock all the squares in one go. We're going to take the little performance hit because I'm pretty sure my PC can handle it. And then if there's any broken Metros, then we can fix them. And then that will be the end of that problem. So let me just do that. And I'll be back with you. So just to remind you, we've already hit Megalopolopolis. Let's reload that page there, which means we can unlock everything. So if I go into my game settings options, here we go. 81 tiles. Unlock all tiles for free. Money is no object at the moment anyway, so I will do that. And there we go. All of them are unlocked. A load over here that we didn't really need to unlock, but they're all done in one go, which is fantastic. So I'm very pleased. Cool. So let us see what we can do with this little zone over here. Let's go back into our natural resort. That is not the view I want. Thank you very much. Let's go back into our natural resources over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in a little bit more so we can really get this uh, looking like a good farming area. So we're going to take our fertile land and we're going to paint that in there. Mm. Come on. I'll tell you, maybe we need to take that out. Aha, there we go. So we'll take out any oil that's in this area. We don't want any oil and we're going to take out any ore. 
which is around here as well. Don't need any of that. And then we can just paint a bit more of this in to make it a little bit bigger. Excellent. Now, what I don't want to do is just move all the items, start a new zone, and lose the fact that we are at three stars already. Uh, look at that. We're importing a lot of crops, so we need to do some work here, folks. Um, so what I'm hoping I can do is the old trick... Um, let's have a look here. So that university doesn't need to be connected here anymore. It will still, if I do that, yeah, they still count as the same university. So if we just trim this back, zip, and then we'll get rid of that going over there. Uh, that comes all the way around here. Doesn't need to do that. That can just go there. Excellent. So then I'm going to do the same trick over here with our industry area. And I'm going to bring that over the top around here Boop. there we go if we turn ground resources on and then all of this is going to be our new farming area mm. there we go green tea fields farm and if we disconnect that that is still the same area as this one over here even though it's disconnected so we just get rid of all of this zippity doo dah back to there so what i'm hoping is that as we move these items over it's not going to cause any problems because let's just have a look what have we got here so we've got access to the railway line which is fantastic uh road access oh by the way <laughs> while i think of it we built this park though didn't we a few episodes back loads of people saying why didn't you just connect it to this road here uh, i wanted this highway to have access to this road i could have just gone blah, 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 connected it to there um i could have done but I don't know whether this one is going to stay. I don't think I mentioned that uh, in the last episode. It is huge for what it does. It looks nice, um, but you have to sort of put roundabouts on it in certain places. And once a load of traffic starts going through it, yeah, so that may go. That was the reason why. Um, so where are we? Over here. So I'm thinking maybe a road off of here would be good. Oh, that's like a blimmin' highway again, isn't it? Um, let me put some thought into this one second. Okay, so that junction is going to work fine on there, but that now means that we have a connection here and also we have a connection on the other side. So we just grab that road there and let's just see how this is going to connect. Just about got enough space. I'm going to move that node round a little bit, hopefully in between those two. Let's just grab that again. Yeah, there we go. Oh, mind the rock and then if we just slope that down like that okay we'll just move this down to ground level uh control h same height as that one there excellent and then we can just connect those two up and that will be good for this side mm -mm -mm. there we go there we go excellent so that's got a connection at both ends of this section here which is fantastic and now we can come over here into our farm uh, let's have a look i was thinking of using this road here let's have a look at the node oh almost in the middle let's just shiftify that round a tiny bit there we go only want it in the middle for my own my own benefit um let's go at uh, now what have we got here we've got the railway line here so yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down there we go and then we're going to curve over the top let's put this back on let's just pause a sec and that's going to come into this area let's go like that and then we're going to drop this railway line down so we we'll use the move it mod we'll get those two 
Let's go down like that. And then we'll get the next two out. We'll go down a little bit. And that should be... Ignore the blue there. That should be enough slope to get underneath. Yep, that's fine. Have we got any interesting bridges we could use across there? So we've got the new American four-lane truss bridge, which I think would fit in well. Uh, we just need to get... So I want that node there, and then this node here. Let's put on snapping. I want it to there. Not sure whether that's going to be big enough to do this whoa, to do this bridge justice. Let's find out. So we'll upgrade that bit in the middle. Ah. Um, yeah, it's such a small span <laughs> that, yeah, I'm not sure that's going to work. That's a six lane. That's a six lane. What about this one? Let's just try that one. No, it's so small, isn't it? Let's just move these back a little bit. Do you know what? On this occasion, I just think the normal elevated version of this road will fit in fine. But anyway, now we've got into this area up here. So this at the front here, um, in fact, let's just... Where's this road going to go? So we've got train access here. We've also got train access at the back. And I think keeping our train cargo away from everything else that's going on here might be a good idea so i think we're just going to bring that to the end we may end up with some sort of roundabout there and then we're also going to come off of here which is going to give us a t-junction which again may change into a roundabout yeah let's go there so i'd like a cargo train station at the back here so what have we got what have we got that is about that size that would work perfectly well yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that's going to fit in nicely there. So now I'm thinking that this area definitely needs to be a roundabout. So let's just see if we can move this over to meet up with that. There we go. We can mess with the rest later when we want to. And then that can go into there. This is obviously going to turn around the other way. And let's use the roundabout mods. Here we go. A nice little two-lane road. Two-lane highway. Two-lane road will be fine. Let's pick it this way. Um, This one. There we go. That'll be good. That's two-lane road with parking. No parking. Excellent. And then... Oh, wow. That is far too big. Let's go back to there. And I reckon about that size should be fine. It's going to be busy. But we've also got good access to the highway. So I'm thinking we'll be okay. I'm thinking we'll be okay. So let's just set that up. Traffic manager, control, shift, left click. All the dedicated lanes and things that we need. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's set that up right. Control, shift, click. Yeah, we'll go with that. And actually, now I'm looking at it, I really want that to be a three lane, not a two lane. No parking. So let's just upgrade that. There we go. Excellent. Yep, that'll work fine. So I'm looking at this area here and thinking, if I was a farmer, where would I like to live? I mean, we've got the entrance, which is sort of going to be down here. Very noisy, very noisy, very noisy over here. But then as we come around here, we've got this nice secluded little spot here. Look at this. I mean, this is prime land up here, so something else is going to be built up here. But I reckon just along here would be perfect for the little farmhouse. Um, in anticipation of doing something with this area, uh, let's just pop a road in. So how wide would that be? So we could probably just about fit some houses either side in there. Uh, let's go like that and then that could sort of come up here and curve around um i'm thinking sort of like this maybe down there curve around a bit maybe something like that is what i'm thinking let's upgrade that last little bit 
And then we can have something over there. But the farmer definitely could inhabit this spot here. And I think, you know, as a reward, why not? Because this guy and his family has lived in the middle, where are we, over here, of this industrial state for so long, it's been so noisy. So this is the test. Can I move my farm main building over here <laughs> and not cause any problems to the zone area? Let us take a look. Click! Yay! Green tea, fields, farm. We are still at three stars. Fantastic. Um, and then around that house... Uh, where are we? I completely lost myself. We set up a little bit of an area. So let's just see if we can grab all of this and take it with us. Do you know what? That is not too shabby. We've pretty much got the whole thing set up as it was before you're gonna let me select some of these things and move them that'd be whoa that'd be great let's try that again we'll take that end and that end thank you very much we'll put that fence up to there that is not too bad he's got a lovely view a few extra trees out there excellent Okay, so rather than just move all the items over that we had there before, let's use some of these larger ones. So we've got medium crop fields, which we can now use because we do need to increase our crop production. Um, what's that going to give us? 8,000 units per week. We've got small fruit field, medium fruit field, also 8,000 units per week. So we could get going with those and see what we could fit in here. We haven't unlocked the large ones yet. So, okay, let's see what we can do.
Right, okay. So I've set this up with absolutely no thought at all to traffic. Apart from the... Ra I say that. No, I've done myself an injustice there. We've got some roundabouts in here. I do have one-way roads coming in and out of this area, which we may adjust slightly. Um, let us just quickly do this. Control left click there. Control left click there. Um, I think I only want this turning right. I don't want that going left. So I'm going to do that. They can go around the roundabout and back again. That's okay. Cutting across there. And I also want that to be give way. I may change that and give them access on here instead of out there. We'll see how it goes. And then we've got the same down here. We'll do control left click there and there. We'll do give way here. And I only want those turning right. They can go up to the roundabout and back again. Oh, power is an issue. Let's have a quick look. Yep, it's not connecting up over here. Okay, what I've been using, I've probably shown you this before, under the disaster services, if you've got it, the earthquake sensor uh, jumps power, only costs, what is it, like 43 a week. Not really much of a problem. I'm going to pop that on there to connect those together. I'll put one up there. It's not enough. Okay, let's delete that and maybe put a couple. Just to save, you know, I don't want to run all the wires across the place. That one there and that one there. Excellent. And then we want one to jump across here. If I just pop one there. Excellent. There we go. So that should get all of this running. Got a nice little area with the barracks down here. Oh, excellent. We've reached level four. Fantastic. That didn't take very long, did it? So there's some cool other items we can add in. Let's just check it's all working. Yeah, I'm liking the look of this area. Plus, I've left plenty of space for the new items. And we have to move some things around. So if we go back to our old farm area, which is here, all of this is going to go. But we do have in here a couple of flour mills, which are making the flour for us. Um, I don't really want everybody to be coming all the way over here for that. And we have the bakery, which is taking animal products, crops, and flour. So let us move our flour mills over here first. Every time I go over the hillside here, I get lost. <laughs> here we go. So I'm thinking maybe this sort of area here, just backing off of that road there, could take those. Okay, that's fit our two flour mills in there. Then we want some storage for the flour. If we just take one of our small warehouses, would that fit over the back there? Yes, it will. That should be good. So we're going to pop that. I'll leave it on balance for now until I've got my head around what's going on. So that's good in there. Excellent. And then if we come back over the hill and not get lost, here we go. Excellent. So now we've got our bakery as well. So that's going to take our crops and our flour. That's not too big. So we could probably just squeeze that in over here somewhere. If I could move all this around and have a road coming up there. Okay, let's just pop it there for now. Oh, actually, that fits okay, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe let's do that. Um, let's just move it over ever so slightly. Yeah, that'll be good. So that's going to make our pastries. And then ideally, I would like a buffer sort of storage next to that. I bet these are going to be huge. Oh, my goodness me. That is huge. Okay, let's take one of these small ones. There we go. That's good. So we're going to have that for unique factory products. And we'll have that on empty. So it's just a buffer. They'll put them in there. Then they'll send them out as and when they need them. Okay, items are getting made and taken around. So these are all making all of our crops. So we should be now making so many crops. Still importing some, but that will sort of change over time. These will be making our animal products once they get their crops. And then these are going to take the crops to make the flour. And these will take the animal products, the flour and the crops to make the stuff in the bakery, our pastries. What else have we got over here that really needs to be moved? So that's just warehouses filled with stuff. That's our buffer. I think that's about it, other than all of these producing the crops. So let me just remove some of these and see what we've got left. All the sheep! Where do all the sheep go? We'll never know.
Okay, that's everything. All we've got left over here is a nice big stockpile of animal products and flour. So let's just see if we can do something with those. Just so we don't lose all of those items. Um, let's pop one in over here. Yep, there we go. Get a load of flour. And then we'll pop our other one. <laughs> I'm immediately lost again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> animal products. It's like I'm moving in a straight line and my brain just goes, no, no idea where you are. I'm completely lost. That's just going to go there for now. <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> Oh dear, Biff is bright. Yeah, some days, some days my brain. Okay, let's just move these down here. Of course, I've got snapping on, so it's all going to go hawky borky freaky deaky. Let's go that up to there. Uh, move it mod off. Can I move that into here? Ooh, no, if I went a bit for... Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do with this road. Is we'll go down there like this. Then we'll get the move it mod again. We'll move that up to here. And I bet I can snap it on the side there. Let's have a go. Grab that. Yeah, it's perfect. We'll do that. That buffers up to there. Then we we'll just grab this. Just shimmy that along. So these two don't connect, but that goes all the way around. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And barely a few minutes later, we've unlocked level five on Green Tea Fields Farm. I've done a few changes, we'll let you know. So the large fruit field, large crop field, the food factory, which is fantastic, large animal pasture, and the large grain silo. Um, so I've just sort of shifted around where our grain silos are in here. I've just moved some of them up here onto their own little road, uh, just to save all the traffic coming down here. Uh, let's have a look then. Um factories 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 so food factory what does that need animal products flour paper and plastic so that's going to be a lot of stuff i'm going to put that factory over with our other factories so not in this area here let's have a look at our large grain silo oh now that is more like it that is the sort of size i like uh where could we fit that in maybe one of those here on this side i also i mean most of these are all set to balance i've just sort of left them like that just to let the game work itself out uh what else have we got here the slaughterhouse is huge 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 this is going to help us get the animal product so why not let's pop that in somewhere i'm thinking that would be good if we could fit that up here so let's just grab that road there. I'm actually going to do some move it mod stuff first. Let's straighten that out. And in fact, we'll do it this way. We'll just lengthen that road. There we go. Set that the same height as that. Do a little bit of jiggery pokery around the back here. Let's do it this way. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And just sort of take a bit of that out. And then we'll do a quick smoothie smooth over the top. Yeah. That'll be good. Let's take out some trees that we're not going to need. And then we'll pop this slaughterhouse in there. And that will just fit almost perfectly. We've got this little bit here. So let's just take that back a touch. Smoothify that. There we go. Excellent. So they're going to come down there, drop it off, turn around and leave. What does that need? That just needs crops. And yeah, for the animal products, I'm just wondering whether we could just move one of these to the end. Oh, not enough room. Let's take the... Oh, <laughs> there we go. Let's take that over there. And let's just try that again. Whoops. There we go. Move. Excellent. Let's move that there. So it's got access to crops right next to it. Um, in fact, let's do it this way. If we move that over here, and then we're going to move... Oh, walking farmer. We're going to move this over. Can you go over one more? Yeah, and then we'll move this here. So that's on the right side for coming in. Take the crops, drop them off here. Make the animal products, which we've got plenty of storage for over here. Uh, it's on balance, so we are selling some. Uh, that's on balance that's on balance you yeah, probably going to need another warehouse for animal products but we'll see how that goes but at the moment that's all working okay the things that does cause the problem is our sort of barns and storagey type things when they're right sort of next to each other so having this little separate area for those works well do you know what i'm going to put them here 
So they're not on the main road, not causing problems. Let's move that up one. And we can just keep our main road moving so we don't get holdups like this. But overall, I think that's looking okay. And by the way, I've updated my unified UI. For some reason, Steam hadn't updated me to the latest version and it was causing all sorts of problems. So uh, thank you to Kian, the mod maker who's helped me solve that problem. Okay, I'm just gonna put a load of this in here. I feel like it should be concrete. It's a lot of buildings and factories and warehouses and stuff. This bit here, I feel like I'd like to put some trees in. Okay, so I've added some services nearby. We didn't have any of those just to deal with this crime wave that's going on at the moment. As with all industry, the profit bounces around quite a lot. Um, I'll have a closer look to make sure we've got plenty of trucks and things taking all these items out. But what I want to do is just put on all these policies. Um, you can read on the screen there. If you pause it, you can see what they do. They all have bonuses. So I'm going to put all of those on and run the game for a while and just see whether our profit increases. And unbelievable, we're still importing, <laughs> I can't believe, from the outside, crops. So 95 tonnes, output 58 tonnes. I mean, I'd, we've got so many crops going on over here, but anyway, it might just balance itself out after a while, we'll see. Right, so things are running well. Could do with a bit more detailing, but we're going to save that for a future episode. Just added some rubbish collection over here on the right to also help with this area. So now, now let's go back to our former farm area. Here we go. Look at all of this empty space. Immediately, I spot a couple of things that we need to deal with. You and you are going to be coming with me over here to the alien rock park area what is going on with our power are we just literally running out of power oh my goodness me okay oh we've got plenty of space let's up our budget a bit i know that's false economy but for now that will do mm -hmm. and water as well might as well do that one we obviously need to do a little bit more building Let's put it up to 15. Yeah, that'll be good. Excellent. So we'll deal with those rocks in a bit. I want to just have a look at the new factories that are now available to us. Let's clear out some of these trees. So now that we've got all of this extra space. There we go. Excellent. So what do we have? Uh, this one here. So now we have the food factory. We have the sneaker factory and the shipyard. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's going to go down the front at some point. Let's, oh man, this is a big old factory. Okay, so that road's going to go off of there for a start. That is going to go bang up against there. And then we've got the sneaker factory that goes the other way. I mean, that could literally go right next to there. So the input for that one's there and the input for this one's over here. And then we're going to need, let's have a look. I'm going to change this. Because I want a road coming up here. Yep, yeah, let's move that over a bit. Okay, well, that'll be fine. And then that's going to come around the back. And that's going to go there. And we're going to get some warehouses on here. So what does this one need? Animal products, flour, paper, and plastic. Uh, we're going to make sure we've got enough production for all of that. Um, what do we have that's stored around here? Let me just check. Okay, so there is lots of storage, but it's all over this side. So I don't really want the trucks traveling that far. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and fit as many of these as we can in here. 
got some space there. Um, we'll have these ones coming off of this road. And we can actually fit an extra one in there. Excellent. And then I'm going to set each of these up to be filled with one of these products. Ah, of course. Of course, of course, of course. We don't need, because uh, the crops aren't going to be stored in one of these, are they? So let us go back to our farming. And we've got the large barn. Would that look out of place here? Yeah, I always don't like the fact that it's the barn that stores the crops. Or oh, it's going to be the silo. Do you know what? One of the large grain silos, I think, would fit in here okay. So let's delete that. Let's add in a large grain silo, and we're going to put that on the field. And I think, um, so we've got petroleum, plastics, and I think this one was meant to be paper. And I think we've also got paper over here as well, flat. I think that is everything covered. Excellent. So that's probably going to take a while to come through and fill all of those up. And then those products can come over here to our large warehouse, which is set to empty to sell all of the things. And oh my goodness, I wonder how much more money that is all going to make us. We'll probably find out in a few moments. Okay, so that's still churning away. We also have over here the clothing factory with a little bit of jiggery pokery. That will actually fit in here. So that's all going to go. That's going to go up against here. Excellent. And I think animal products, crops, plastics, we've got all of those items around here. So I'm really pleased with that. And then what we'll probably do is as we're losing these offices here, we'll add some more offices in in this area. If I go up the middle like that, that should be quite good. And then we'll just get some small offices in there. Was there a zone I had over the top? No, we'll just see what offices appear. That should be nice. Excellent. And then finally in this area, I didn't realise we didn't have the furniture factory yet. And that is just perfect for that spot there. Absolutely love it. Uh, let's add a little bit of parking down by the side of that one. In fact, I'm going to do that both sides like this. Excellent. Do we need some parking over here? No, that's all looking okay. And what does that need? Plain timber and paper. So I think we're just going to add in a little warehouse for the plain timber and call that good. Let's grab one of... That one's quite big, isn't it? Will that fit in there the other way? No, I don't want to redraw everything. Let's go for that one. Yep, excellent. So we'll set that one to fill. Pop some plain timber in there. There we go. And then we're also going to be producing furniture. Excellent. Well, I'm really pleased how that worked out. Moving our farm area has taken it up to five stars. And I've just checked and it was making over 10 grand. As we know, that can fluctuate, but a profit. So that's fantastic. I think... Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Today, we are going to be taking a deep dive, a deep, deep dive into the mass transit of our city here in New Zealand. We're going to be discussing the benefits of transport hubs and all sorts of things, all sorts of things. We're going to try and improve that in the city because as you've been seeing over the past few episodes, things are expanding nicely and they're starting to get pretty congested in a few areas, uh, which is only going to get worse if we don't do something about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tool called CSL Map View. You can find that on the Steam Workshop. It will tell you how to use it there. And that enables you to open up cool looking maps of your city 
like this. Aha, there we go. This is a view I really like to see of my city. And as you can see, this picture is labeled bus hubs because we have already three bus or transport hubs, we could perhaps call them in our city. And there's two others that I think we need to add at least before we expand even further. So some of these you're already going to know. Number one over here, if we just zoom in. This is, a, if you can just about read that, hashtag save the rock. We've got this hub that's here. We'll come back to that one in a moment. We've also got this one over here, not far from Teasney World, Orlando Heights. You know where this one is. We've got a bus hub there. And then down here on no problem at all, we'll just zoom in. We have one over here. Now, I would like to also add at least two more. So over here, we have our stadium. We have our university. We have Sugar Cube Square. Lots going on here with the train and all sorts of things. I think that would be a good idea. And then also over here, of course, we have Tarantula Terminal with all the metro going out. In the future, that is going to really be needed now why do we need all of these in these areas so let's just flick over to the next picture aha uh -huh, here we go so this is why i would call these ones transport hubs uh, rather than just bus hubs so up here back at number one at hashtag save the rock this is where we have a tram that comes down our front over here plus the ferry of course in the sea and a train all meet in one area Yes, so that would be a very good transport hub that enables people to get around. Number two over here that we spoke about by Teasley World, Orlando. We've got the monorail, ferry, train and intercity bus uh, all converge in the same spot. Over here at no problem at all, we have a ferry. These are the ferry lines, of course, on the blue here and the train. This big, thick blue line through here is the train. So why do we need ones over here? Well, at number four, as you mentioned, we have our big end train terminal that hooks into this line that goes through our city. Uh, we've also got two metro. I put metro times two because we've got the line that goes up to Tevantula Terminal. And then we've got the line that goes down here to Hawky Borky uh, down on the coast. So that is like a hub as well. And then when we get up here, we've got the metro terminal and I'm sure other things will be added in the future. So why don't we take a look at these and see what changes we need to make. So let's go back to our city. Okay, so here we are back in the city over here. Hashtag save the rock. So we've got our ferries, we've got our buses, we've got our tram. I think I said trains as well. There is no train here. Uh, that was my mistake. Over here, number two at the No Name Hub. Uh, we need the name for that one <laughs> by Teasley World. So we've got the monorail that runs through. Uh, this is an intercity bus station. So that is like an extra type of bus that's coming in as well as the buses we're going to set up. Of course, the ferry as well. Oh, here's a train here. Look, there's a did I mention that? I think I did. So there's the train line. So all of this together, it's a pretty, pretty busy hub. Uh, no problem at all. Over here, we have the train that comes through. And of course... This has got buses built in and a ferry. And then back over here at number four. So this is the one I think we need to work on first. So we've got our glass box transport hub uh, with all the trains coming in and out. Intercity trains as well. And then if we go to this view, there we go. So we've got the underground metro, which goes through Elizabeth Square, Sunset Park, and all the way up to Tarantula Terminal. And then we've got the above ground metro as well. So all of that converges on this one spot. Now, with these different types of transportation all in one area, so we're calling Crest Heights here a transport hub with all of those meeting. What you need is ways for people to get to and from this. Now, we've been discovering this issue, particularly in this area, because as we look at the traffic, it's not too bad at the moment. Uh, every now and again, it sort of gets a lot worse. A lot of people come out uh, and jump in their cars and cause traffic. But you need ways for people to get into these transport hubs to then take a higher grade of transport. So if we look over here, you could say perhaps that bus is like the first line of transport uh, or mass transit, public transportation that they will come in contact with. I'd probably put trolley buses and trams sort of in those lines or those buses are easier to get around and then you move up so then you 
would get a bus to a transport hub and then you jump on a metro to go further or a train to go even further or perhaps a ferry now you're crossing over uh, waterways to get to difficult parts of the city but our buses are set up really really bad they really are so i want to see if we can work a little bus hub in here somehow and set up some bus routes to go to other parts of this city because uh, other parts of this area we're going to concentrate on first of all um so yeah there's not much space in here so taking a look at that this way round, not a lot of space and i'm wondering where we could put a bus hub in i mean we've got this park here which has taken up a lot of room and i'm wondering whether we could shiftify like this because this is like a built-in piece of park isn't it yeah and then i put all this in move that over take up a lot less space and then maybe use this half uh, what sort of bus hubs have we got in here so we've got a normal little bus station that is quite big although that could fit in there if we move the park all the way up then we've got the intercity bus station i'm not sure i want to start getting intercity buses down here and this is intercity bus terminal what other options have we got over here yeah now we're starting to mix and match so maybe we go with a bus station here and we just see if we can move this around oh quick auto save sip of tea oh right let's get stuck in There we go i think that'll do nicely give us some extra room so let's see if we can fit this bus station in we can fantastic so i'm gonna have that facing into this road here rather than the main road excellent so now that's going to give us a little bit more space what i'm going to do is and i'm going to move let's just have a look at where our stops go at the moment so this oh good grief this one goes all over the place doesn't it let us see so this is bus line number eight and that comes all the way down into fairview heights and all over yeah we're gonna pause the game pause the game we're gonna delete that one and then i think that is all the bus lines we have over here yeah because that's a train going through there isn't it okay so let's set up a few new bus lines coming out of here okay i've turned off all other mass transport lines so it's easy to see what we've got going on here so let's start our first one over here um, I may change this to one-way road in and out. Uh, we'll see what happens. So that's nice and close. They can easily walk from there over to here. We'll definitely put a stop in. So I'm thinking the first area I want to cover is over here at Sugar Cube Square. Now, though, I know there is a metro, but many are still going to want to take the bus. That's just, <laughs> that's just how these things work. So uh, what's a good way to get in here? Can I come in down this way instead? Yeah, that would be good and move that along here and we're going to just sort of go every few blocks like this we'll go over here we've got the hospital that's over here as well so if we come around that way these are all really happy it will help them to upgrade as well uh let's go i want to cover up the top here so if we so we've covered that bit i want to sort of get a couple of stops in here there and then can we go up and over this bridge yeah excellent so, i mean one stop in there that's quite a big area of effect for all of that or i tell you what actually no i'm going to change that we're going to have that stop up there and then that's just literally going to come straight back to here yeah we're going to do that and then i'm going to mirror it going the other way as well yeah so let me do that there we go that's the one going the other direction and as it's coming through this little section here i've added a stop there so we'll do the same for the red line too there we go and for some reason that then makes it go around there <laughs> who knows why so we're going to call that sugar cube square 
Um, so that's 15 and 16. So let's make that a slightly different shade of red. So sugar cube square. And we just have one of those as clockwise. Let's copy that. Oh, darn it. Good job I copied it. There we go. And this one will be counterclockwise. Excellent. Okay, for our next couple, I'd like to come up here into Elizabeth Square, maybe even Crest District. In fact, I'm going to have Crest and Dean Square as its own stop. So let's go up to Elizabeth Square next. So we'll grab the next one here. That's probably going to come up this main road. Uh, what is worth keeping in mind as well is our tourist attractions that we've got in here. So people are going to want to come and see that. Uh, and we've also got this little statue in here as well. People are going to want to visit that. So is this the way in? Yeah, because we've got one way in and one way out in this area here. So I'm going to come straight. Oh, where's that going? That is taking a back route. And actually, that is not too bad. If we can get it to do that. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to have a stop. Let's have this one here because we've got offices, lots of residential. And then that can come down here and up there. I think that should be enough. And let's have a look. Let's have a look. And then back down here. Oh, I'd love it to stop right in here. Yes, we can do that. That's great. I know that's going to cross over itself when it comes back out again, but that'll be fine. And then we can stop that somewhere here in the university. That comes up in the middle here. I know they can walk to the university, perhaps, but I think that'll be okay. Yeah, and then we'll pop that in there. Excellent. Do I need one going the other way around? I think I do, so let me do that one as well. So as we take in Elizabeth Square and Elizabeth City Park, I'm going to call those the Elizabeth Line. Could we actually stop up here as well? Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. So let's take that one. Oh, that's going to make it go all over the show, isn't it? Let's just put a stop right outside. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. And then this line on the other way back as well. We'll do that. Yeah, excellent. That'll be good. So we're taking that stop there, that area there. So this is number 17 and 18. Yep, so we're going to call these the Elizabeth line. Uh, and we'll just call these... I don't know which one's clockwise or which one's counterclockwise, but... We'll just uh, do that, and that one to be counterclockwise, and then we'll just change the colour on these. So we had sort of a ready colour before. Let's go for a purpley colour this time. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So that takes in this area. That takes in this area. Now we do have, we did have a bus stop coming out of Dean Square. But I'm going to treat this as our main hub. So this one here is going to go from here, bypass all of this, and come right up into Crest District. Um, and let's have a couple of stops on the way in. So which way round is this going to go? It seems like it's coming up around the back route, which is not too bad, although I'd rather it came up the main road, if possible. Yeah, there we go. So if we can do that, excellent. There we go. That's fine. And we'll bring this round a couple of stops. Let's actually bring that right in here to where we've got that monument. And then there. And then it's going to cross over itself. And then I think with this one, we're just going to mirror itself on the way back. So that's back in here on the other side. Back in there on the other side, back in there on the other side, and then all the way back down to... Here it is! Found it. Excellent. That's good. So that one can be called... Uh, we'll call that the Crestine line. So let's find that one on here. That's going to be this one. Yeah, we'll change the colour on that to a nice light blue. And that's the Crestine line. Excellent. So was that a capital I in there? Didn't want that to be a capital I. Cool, there we go. So now we have bus route going around here, bus route going around here, and a bus route taken in this bit. It's already taken in the park on there as well. Now I'm thinking about coming down to these areas. So there is this metro here that they can get onto. Do we need maybe another bus going around here? I think, do you know what? I think that would be a good idea. We've got the hub, let's use it. So let's just bring that down here and go through this different area we've got here. Where's the road going? So it comes off the side there. Oh, is that like only one connection in there? So if I just do, say, that, then it's going to come straight back out again, isn't it? Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm not going to stop on the main road, actually. I'm going to bring it up here and stop by this park. Then we're going to come round the back. 
And there's another little park there. So let's stop here. Every couple of blocks is normally okay. We'll go there. And then we're going to go back and stop the opposite side of that one. I feel like I need to go in here and do the opposite side of these as well. There's only one stop in there anyway. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll pop that back to over there. So that's going to be called Fairview. So that's number 20. Yep. Fairview line. Only one of those. If I could spell, that'd be nice. And then we'll just change that to something totally different. We'll go for a yellow colour. Excellent. And then the other area is bringing them down here would be very helpful. Does that need to stop emptying? It does. Now, we do have a bus line through here. This blue one that just seems to go on forever. It just goes all the way up around here. It comes over to a hub somewhere else. I don't know. We've actually called it the hub to industry uh, line. Let's just find that one. I mean, there's only 82 people using it. It's just a useless line. That one is going to go. So what I'm thinking is rather than running one from our new transport hub up here, I'm going to run it from this metro. So they can jump on the metro, come around here, get off, and then they want access to this area. So let's just have a look down here. What have we got? I'm thinking some sort of tiny little bus hub in here somewhere. Is there something small we could fit in? I mean, that's just too big what we want to do that's too big maybe we could just use a bus road yeah i think what i'm going to do is just put a little bus road up through there and then i'm going to use traffic manager and just ban anything but buses actually it's got already oh that's good look it's automatically banned cars on the outside of these oh very clever i've never seen it do that before um but we're going to ban everything we're going to ban the whole lot apart from buses there we go on all the sides do 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 all the way up that road just yeah, that's fine. So bus is okay there. Let's just check that one. Bus is okay there. So ideally, I want to keep these off the main road. Uh, let's start that side. Like off this main road up here, if we can. Um, so I'm thinking we'll just sort of come maybe along the front like this in a couple of places. Let's go there. Then we can sort of cut through into the middle here. Then it is going to come down the main road because we're then going to go up to here. Let's go there. Let's go a bit further. Let's go there. And then when we come round, we could stop up there. So we're taking in sort of all the different factories that we've got. And then this is going to come over to this area. Let's take in that end and then basically come back round this way again. Back down there and back to here. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then I'm going to do one going the opposite way round as well. Okay, so this is going to be Hawky Borky clockwise and Hawky Borky counterclockwise. There we go. And for these, we're going to go for sort of shade of green. So that's from this metro line. That's covered all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, in fact is all covered over here which is great so let us see where all these buses are going to be coming from we do have if i remember correctly let's go into this view yeah look we've got a bus depot down there i'm just wondering if we could add a nearer bus depot hmm possibly not we've got a biofield bus depot that's not going to fit in is it no okay well we'll see where they all come from whether this is the nearest one I think it might be. There seem to be buses going out. Yeah, look, here they go. Let's keep an eye on the... Oh, this is going to cause untold amounts of traffic, I'm sure. That is probably like one of the worst places to have a bus hub. But normally you don't get 30,000 buses all coming out at once. But I think we're going to have to just let this run for a bit. And <laughs> hope these guys can come out here and populate our bus lines for us. Um... One other thing that I will do once they've been running for a while is look at how many vehicles are on them. But I think, to be honest, they're probably going to be okay. Yeah, so we'll leave that like that. I'm also, once we've done the buses for everywhere and checked all the transport hubs... Oh, excellent! Elizabeth City Park, level 5. Thank you very much. I will go back and I will see how many people were using... Um, our transport per week i'll get a screenshot of that and we'll compare it to our new setup and leave that running so yeah this is going to take a few minutes i think how many buses 160 it was like 97 or something 
Wow. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave that going. Oh, man, this thing is humming away nicely. We're getting tons of people coming down here wanting to use this, which is great. What helps as well, it's off of the main road, and it's got a nice load of space. And if we end up with a few buses down here, there's space for them to queue. But they're un unbunching pretty well so far. Um, it's also stopped all the people queuing over here and jumping out with their cars when they get off that bus stop and all the stuff that was happening before and it's working really really well i'm really pleased with this one and let's just rename that one that is going to be the sparty bus station excellent right so let's move over here to no problem at all and as we mentioned we have the train that comes in here we have the ferry that comes in here oh okay thank you very much um and we have is this an intercity oh just a ferry and bus exchange stop yeah so we've got all the buses here as well so we need to do a little something with this um if we just have a look at the buses that we've got on here at the moment they're pretty rubbish i'll be honest with you look this blue one just goes all over the show all over the show all the way down here we've got a yellow one that's probably the best one just takes in one area but i just they just need some work so we're going to get rid of these so we've got no problem at all b uh, yeah, that one's going to go. Thank you very much. No problem at all. A. Oh, and the people are so sad. That one's going to go. And we've also got... Let's zoom out. I think it's one of these up here. 13. Yeah, that one's going to go. And 12. Yeah, that one's going to go as well. And I think that's all of our bus lines here. Yes, it is. So let us have a bus route. Let's grab our buses. So we're going to start over here on this side why not that'll do we're definitely going to stop outside that and then i think then we're going to just have it come along oh that's a path not a road isn't it so that's going to go up there and then we're going to meander through this area how far are we going to take this so we have this route do all of this and back again i think that might be a good idea so we've got one stop two stops then we'll come up. I want to get down over here near to the park. So we'll go... Yeah, we'll have one there. We'll have one down here. Uh, we know there's a park entrance down there. And then I think we could just literally come straight back with that one. And then we'll have one going the other way. Okay, so these ones are going to be called NPA Highland. Uh, clockwise. Let's just copy that. And then we're going to have NPA, no problem at all, of course. Uh, counterclockwise excellent and then we'll just give them a color let's just go straight white let's go white on both of those why not so let's do our next bus line so we've done it's hard to see isn't it this one this one so that one that one i want to do this one yeah there we go so now we can come where's that going to come out it comes out all the way down here doesn't it which is a bit annoying but i think that'll be okay so we're going to stop outside the train station. We're going to stop outside this. And then we're going to loop around Myrtle Square. If we loop the other way? No, let's go that way. So if we go one there. Then we'll come one over there. And yeah, we'll just mirror this one itself, I think. That'll just be easier. Opposite the train station. Yeah, I think that one will be okay. So what's that one going to be? Bom, 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 bom. That's going to be right down the end. Nope, it's going to be right at the top. Here it is, number 25. So that can be NPA Myrtle. At some point, could probably do with coming back and looking at our parks in these areas. But we do have a couple of parks in here which people would like to visit. We have this one down the front here. And we have our schools over here as well so that is definitely somewhere i want to hit with the next one so let's go that one's there so we'll go here and again that's going to sort of wiggle all the way along here and i'm wondering whether we should just go straight for the school mm, let's maybe do this a bit different no we're going to have this one here because this is right by the park and then we're going to get the school on the way back yeah i think that'll work and then we'll just go through here every sort of couple of blocks. So we'll go there. Let's go there. Then we can get the school. Actually, no. Then we can go into here. Yeah. Then we can get the school. Then we can go all the way back again. I think that'll be okay. And that one's going to be Chester Hill. So let's jump into here. Is that 26? Yeah. So that is no problem at all. Chester. That will do, won't it? Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll just 
recolor that one to some sort of purpley color. And that's covered everything on here, I think, in a much better way. And I'm pretty sure there's no bus depot on here. Nothing is showing up. So we really need to find a spot for that. And I wonder whether this little square here would be good. I think that might be a good idea. I'm hoping the fact that I've put these lines in. Uh, Prop and Trianarchy, let's turn that off. It keeps going back on again because I'm doing names, aren't I, with a capital P. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Let's just grab some trees. I'm hoping the fact that I've done those lines already isn't going to automatically have signed assigned all of the buses to the other bus hub that we've got but we'll have to sort of see what happens yeah once again it's going to cause some sort of traffic pile up as it sorts itself all out but i think it'll be fine after a few minutes how we're we looking over here lots of people already queuing up coming from our ferries and getting ready to take our new bus lines fantastic so let's have a look over here by orlando heights and as far as i can see we only have one bus route round here which goes all over the place um down to orlando heights around in this area we're definitely going to redraw this one <laughs> it just goes everywhere oh dear oh dear oh dear and um, also for a no name hub i do you know what? i knew it had a name and I've just found out what the name is. Because if you have a look at the name of this uh, bus line, it's Hibiscus to Orlando. So if I can copy that, and our no-name hub is Hibiscus Hub. There we go. Excellent. So I don't know quite what happened to that, but it's back. Um, so let's just have a look at what's going on. So all of this is served by... Oh, we've got another line there as well. Which one's that? That is a very dark green one. Teasney World Shuttle. Ah, okay. I thought we didn't need a bus line there because we've got the monorail, hasn't, haven't we, that comes down here. And where does that go? That goes all the way up to this area anyway. Yeah, so we don't need that one. So let's just use our common sense. I probably had a thousand comments about that when I put that one in. Um, but that one is going to go. The Teasney World Shuttle. Let's just copy that, actually, and have a look at our monorail. There it is. Teasley World Shuttle. Yeah, we've got two things doing the same thing. Okay, there's only 43 people on that. Well, they're not going to be on it anymore. Excellent. That's gone. Right, so, uh, yeah, let's delete the Orlando. Hibiscus to Orlando. And what I'm going to do is actually copy that name. There we go. And we're going to delete that. Everyone's really sad. And then we're going to add some more in here. So we're going to need, I think... I mean, we do have this monorail that comes through the middle here. But I think we could just do with a bus route that picks people up. Oh, ah, let's have a quick look at our parks. What uh, parks do we have? So we've got this here, this here, and of course Alien Rock Park. Okay, that's just worth keeping in mind. Right, let's just do that again let's drag that stop to there can we continue it yeah excellent so then that's going to come around the back here then can it cut through to this bit here it can we'll have one in the middle there and then definitely to alien rock park oh we can stop that right outside that is brilliant and then what i want is it to go back on the way i'm going to put them off the main road. I'm going to keep all my buses off the main road as much as possible. So that can come out. That can continue along the back there. Oh, this is fantastic. So that covers all of this area, but still allows people to walk to the monorail if they want. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to just mirror that one. Okay, so that is these two lines. So that's... I knew that wasn't spelt right. Aspen Park. Clockwise. Copy that. I'm trying to type, and I can't see my keyboard properly. <laughs> <laughs> this will be counterclockwise. Okay, we'll do that again. Clockwise. There we go. Excellent. We'll give those. Oh, do you know what? These are going to be black. Like the night. There we go. Excellent. And I'm also then going to just have a little stop that comes out of here and comes up to this. So this is our broadcasting center. And I think a lot of people are going to want to visit this. So I'm just going to pop one little line backwards and forwards to there so that covers this side and then it's just the orlando heights teasing world we've got covered so we just need a route going around there 
So again, just taking a look at what we've got over here that we need to hit. So park-wise, really not many parks. We've got our ore industry, which people are going to want to work at. And then we've got all the people that live here that are going to want to come over here. That needs to stop emptying. There we go. Uh, I'm also going to check for bus hubs. Uh, bus uh, stations, I should say. Depots. There are none over here. Could we squeeze one in? In our industry area somewhere. Oh, that is good. That just works out perfectly. That's not busy at all. Straight onto this main road and then off around the city. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's set up the next two. Here we go. So that one's there. So we're going to go here. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. So where's that going to come in? That's going to come if in round this way on that side of the road. But I want it to come through the middle of the housing estate so we've got one that side one that side and that's going to come around to here mm, we're just going to have that or we're going to also take in the industry i think it'd be silly not to take in the industry area so we're just going to run yeah in this case i am going to run down the main road because i don't want to get in the way of all the trucks that are moving around and i know we've got lots of path access through here so if we do that, uh, we'll have a stop in there. And that'll probably be it, to be honest. And then I can mirror that one as well. There we go. That's good. So we're covering all of the residential area. And then I've got easy access through here if they wish. So that's good. So that is going to be called. Cool. Let's copy that. Grab our two stops. I mean, really interesting to see what difference this makes overall. There we go. That will do nicely. So that is all of this covered all of this covered and all of this covered uh we were gonna check oh we do have a bus we put one in didn't we over here let's just keep an eye on all the buses coming flying out of this thing yeah there they go excellent 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 don't know whether you can hear it in the background as well lots of bing 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 of people upgrading their houses because there are now bus routes right by their houses. Let's just have a look and see if we can see them. See all the little green arrows? They are so happy that they now have some regular bus routes around here. Are they upgrading over here as well? If not, why not? Yep, they are. We can hear them. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, I like the look of these black buses. They almost look like stretch limos, don't they? I feel very posh getting in one of those. Look at that. Yeah, we've got, we got some traffic. We've got some traffic. I'm sure the bus traffic will sort itself out. Not bothered. Not worried. Slightly worried. Not worried at all. So now we come to this area of the city. Now, previously, the hashtag Save the Rock Hub uh, over here has got all the bus routes coming out. Of. You remember, this is the first little hub that we made ourselves. Bit of parking. Lots of different stops in there. Some places to sit and eat and wait for your bus. Uh, that is sending out buses everywhere. Um, if we just hover over some of the lines here, that yellow one, oh, it's stretchy. It's got, well, you can probably see, look, the green one comes all the way up around here. This one comes all the way here. This purple one goes all the way down. It's just too many. And I think what we need to do is split these into two. We need bus stops from here, bus lines, I should say, serving this area because this brings together the ferry and the tram. And then we need something different over here, because how would you get to this area? Well, you know, you'd walk over the hills, perhaps. Uh, you'd cycle, but you'd come in your car or by train. And we've got this little area up here where we do actually have a elevated bypass train station coming in. So if you came in by train, then you would want to hop on a bus to go to the university or to come around here and visit the lovely little extra parks and things that we've got. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let me just find out which lines we've got in here and delete those. Yeah, I'm just looking at this one line here, the east-west line, all the way down to Green Tea Square, all the way past the hub, all the way around the coast, all the way up the waterfront. It just takes in too, too much. It's absolutely massive. That one is going to go as well. And I think, if we just pause the game, that is all the bus lines here. Yeah, this purple one here is like a tram line so i don't want to go any further than green tea park over here yeah it's our tram depot um let's just remind ourselves what sort of parky things we've got along here so this is the industry area so we've got the shopping we've got the park got the cinema got the hypermarket i think that is yeah up over here 
So we obviously want to hit those. So let's just do this then. Let's grab that. We're going to put this stop here. Mm, let's see. I think we're going to have that stop there. It's going to come up to this train and take in the hypermarket and all of this we've got going on here. So we've got like all the tennis courts. We'll do that. Um, we'll stop over here. And we'll stop by the cinema. And I think, to be honest, that is going to be it for that one. That is going to be a short one. And I'm wondering even whether to add a stop. Shame we can't put these inside here. Yeah, let's just add a stop there. And we're going to take that one away. So it's only got too many. Yeah, that'll be good. And I don't really think we need one going the other way. It's such a short line. It's just a shame that it comes all the way through here. Um, do you know what? I am going to add some stops into this side over here. Shall I? I feel like I'd be rude not to. Yeah, do you know what? I am. We're going to change this. As this is coming up, that's going to come around here and stop in this little shopping area. One that side. One that side. No. Let's do that. That side. There we go. And on this main road, we'll do that as well. Come on. Just because you know it's going to help people upgrade. And then as it comes through here, I'm going to do one there. Come on. So this is when it goes up and when it comes down. So it's sort of mirroring itself. There we go. All of those are happy. Oh, and we've got this here as well, haven't we? Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. So that's going to go this way. Yeah. And that one's going to go that way. Through there. Yeah, excellent. Takes in our <laughs> cable car is the word I'm desperately hunting for over the top there as well. Yeah. And then I think here, one more from here, going through these two little estates that we've got. Uh, so Green T Square. Again, we're going to go sort of every few blocks. Yeah, that'll be good. Then we'll sort of bring... Oh, okay. It's going to loop all the way around. Actually, there's these stops here. We'll have that overlap with that one and then on the way back we can literally mirror what we've done yeah i'm gonna move those stops around so they're not overlapping like that that'll be good mirror that mirror that and we'll mirror these all the way back yeah excellent so that can be called green tea square yeah green tea that's the green tea line that was easy wasn't it bus line 33 excellent so that also gives us access we've got that's a fishing boat Oh, yeah, we've got these ferry stops along here. There we go. That's fine. I've taken in the ferry stops as well. Hooked it up with those. And that will come all the way back to here. Green tea square. We did name that one, didn't we? Yeah, the green tea line. Excellent. Excellent. So that is all of that side taken in. And then all we need to do is add a couple of stops over here. So let's just remind ourselves what we've got leisure-wise. So obviously we've got the university to get to. Uh, we've got Tranquility Point Park uh, in the middle there. And we've got Chai Key, Uppity Glamping. Then we've got this industry area over here. So definitely a couple of stops, I would say. Um, how are we going to put these in here? How about something like that? I'm going to add a couple of small little roads on there. I don't think there's going to be too many buses on these. But we'll see how this goes anyway. So I think this one here, we're going to have it just loop around the outside like this. Every few blocks or so. It's going to come in here, take in... There we go. The university. Whoop, press the wrong button. And then that is going to loop back around the outside again. Like that. And then back up around like that. Yeah. And then I'm thinking we need another one just to sort of loop around here. But also get near to our cable car line. Yeah, we could stop outside there, couldn't we? And then one for our industry. That is what I'm thinking. And if we can sort of... Let's see, let's see. So that's going to come off the highway. And this seems to be one way round here. Well, that's handy. So if we come down here and stop near to all of these points where people are going to want to get out and do shopping. If I remember correctly, this is like a, a leisure sort of thing going on here. So we'll go along there. And then we're going to stop over here. And then we can't do the same ones on the way back because it's one way. What we can do is go up here instead. Excellent. Come out of there. And then, yeah, we're not going to take in the industry. We're going to come all the way back. Complete that line. Very good. And that is going to be called Chai, the Chai line. Uh, the only thing that worries me here is that it's a long line. 
yeah, we're going to do another one going the other way. Yes, and of course, we couldn't properly mirror that one, could we? Uh, the next one's 36 because of those one-way roads. Uh, let's copy that. 36, there we go. So that's counterclockwise. And we'll try and get that a similar purpley color to that one. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. So what I did with that one is just run it down the main road. Just a quicker way of getting over there and back again. And then finally, we want an industry one, uh, which I want on the other side here, but it's going to be difficult to do it. So I'm going to do it from there. And then we'll move the stop afterwards. And that's just going to come into our industry area and give a couple of stops uh, in a couple of places around here. Um, there should we come in and out of there and then back round again and I think that will be okay for that one we'll complete that line and then I'll drag the stop over here excellent so that is the whole of our area covered uh, where's the nearest bus hub to all of this it's going to be this one over here isn't it <laughs> okay um, we need to fit in another bus hub and in our industry area I keep saying bus hub mean bus depot in our industry area to me would seem like the best spot and up against a little side road like that would seem perfect very good let's just do a little bit of terraforming here here they come excellent okay there they go so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back to some of my earlier footage i'm going to get the information that we want from this screen here how many people use our transport i can see it's gone up already which is absolutely brilliant and i'm going to get that and we're going to put it on the screen after i've let this city run for about i don't know half an hour an hour something like that uh, once all the backup of the buses is sorted out and all that sort of thing and uh, yeah i'll be back with you so just before we do that final comparison i'm looking at my train lines i've only got three so i might add some more but look this one here that's got so many people waiting at it it's absolutely nuts trying to get all around the city so yeah i definitely need to add a whole load more trains i've also discovered that my main uh, island to east island doesn't come into this area here which is a bit bad we want to make sure that that can come in uh, when it goes in both directions cannot find path okay what about this one cannot find path why the heck can you not find the path okay i'll fix that and make sure it stops over here as well which would explain why that's only got 61 passengers where these other lines absolutely rammed okay so before we look at the final figures a couple of little things that i've managed to fix uh, while i've been doing this um over here this is always super busy and this roundabout backs up a heck of a lot so i've added a little bypass onto there which has worked really well i haven't bothered with the lane mathematics here just left it added that in it's working fine uh, also added a little bypass on this round about which started to get busy this uh media broadcast building has a lot of people coming up here i did have a bus go into there but it didn't do anything so i took it away but anyway so i've added that on which is great um do you know what would probably help now that i've just suddenly thought of it is making this connection connect to here like that I could just move that back out a bit. I'll set that at the right height. So now they can walk across there, which they couldn't do before. Ah, maybe that'll help. So yeah, sorted that. And I also moving over to whoa, over to here. Sorted out the train problem with the trains getting stuck constantly in the middle. I just use the move it mod uh, and reset this. So I went into here and reset the object. And now they don't get stuck in the middle anymore, and it works. Um, I've also put in the advanced stop selector or something like that so i could use some of these other stops in here because whatever i did without it i couldn't use them i've turned off all the other stations apart from this one this is the one that allows intercity trains none of the others do and i changed my lines coming out of here i had a couple of train lines i've set a new one up going from there to over here to dean square and also the one I had going from this island to this island was almost a repeat of another one that I had going around. So I've changed that as well. So everything's working much, much better. Traffic is 79, 80%. Trains are not backing up anymore. Let's check out the final figures on our mass transit. 
Okay, so the figures you can see on the left there are the live figures now. There's my mouse moving around on it. And the figures we're going to overlay on the right-hand side of the screen. I took a screenshot of before I made any changes. Now you'll notice some interesting differences. Uh, buses are up. So 1,704, 260 a week, up from 1,284, 131 a week. I've done a lot of tweaking of the buses. I've, I've been sitting here going through the lines, checking how many passengers. Do we need more buses? Do we need less buses? And I've, in fact, done that with all of my uh, lines. But I've gone through to make sure that nobody's waiting too long, that we don't have too many vehicles. That's why some of these have only got uh, like three or four down here. So that's how that is looking. Um, trolley buses wouldn't have any anyway. What's this one here? I can never remember. Is that trams? Yeah, tram lines have only got our one that runs along the front. No one ever uses it. It's a complete waste of money. <laughs> um, On to our metro line. I've adjusted that as well because you've got some lines in where nobody uses any. This is actually a proper line. But the ones that were going to Tarantula Park, Tarantula Terminal, I've removed those. And I've adjusted all the lines on there. But the figures on our Metro um, have actually gone down. Well, it was 527, now 328. But, yeah, it's just the way it's gone with that. Train has gone down a little bit. But I've only just adjusted those. Ferries, boats about the same. We've got no planes. Monorail, give or take more or less the same. And this one here, I can never remember the name of, that goes over the top of the... Oh, that's the monorail. This is... What's this one here? Oh, I know what that is. I'm a completely brain-dead person. It's the cable car, isn't it, of course? So that's just set what it is. Taxis, we had hardly any anyway. So overall, it is up 3,930. And it is climbing. It's 3,890 before. Um, it is going up ever so slightly, but a lot less traffic and a lot more options to get around different places. So even though it hasn't been a humongously massive change, it's helped me to fix a load of different issues that we had uh, on here. And I'm thinking maybe we need to separate some of the connections there and bring down a few more, but I can work on that. But yeah, it's helped me to fix a load of different problems we've had. So I'm really pleased with that deep dive into my mass transit network let's go into first person mode and have a look at this oh driving through the wall flying up the side what the heck oh, my goodness me what the heck you doing hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of city skylines with me biffa thank you very much for joining me today we are going to be trying something that we haven't done for a long time within traffic manager president edition you can turn on parking ai what does that mean what can it do for your city how does it work? Is it working? That's a question I get asked by a lot of people as well. Well, we're going to try it out and I'm going to share some information with you I've got from the devs as well. Before we dive into that, there's a couple of fixes I've been reading through the comments of the last two or three videos. And there's a couple of mod updates that I want to share with you as well. So why don't we dive into all of that? So here we are over at the Model T car factory. And if you remember a few episodes ago, we were having a problem with the spawning points mod. Now it's been updated. It adds itself now to the UI, unified UI button up here. And that's also been fixed because Steam has now decided to update me to the latest version, which it didn't do before. That was the problem I was having. But yeah, now we click on here. We can move this spawn point. We're not going to do all stuff to do with the mod today, but I just want to show you what it will now do do so let's just say i'm going to move that spawn point all the way back up here and we had problems where i moved the spawn point and nothing was spawning so if we go backwards we go backwards we go backwards and then we're going to get to a certain point where this happens aha the point placed is too far from the road so 28 minus 28 or 28 from the road is fine uh, that is too far. So you can hover over these and it will give you like a little circle around it to see how far they're going to be. And yeah, they can't spawn. If we hover over them like that, we'll sh see that little white line. Look, it says they will all come from there and join the road there. So that is definitely worth knowing because before I think we'd moved it too far and it just didn't spawn any trucks or cars at all. Look, as you can see, they're all spawning there. 
which is working fantastic. So excellent update. Thank you for that. We also had some brilliant name suggestions. This one for our furniture factory was from Sazzy D. Thank you very much, Sazzy D. This is going to be called Itia. And over here on our prison island, there's the prison. Another fantastic name suggestion, this time from Andrew Parker. And we're just going to change this name to HMP Guilty, Her Majesty's Prison Guilty. Fantastic. Love that name. And in fact, the Willow Nature Reserve, I think that needs to be changed to the Guilty Nature Reserve to fit in <laughs> with the theme that we have here. And then we have our large prison block. So that's going to be HMP Guilty as well. And then we've got our small prison blocks. Might as well name them all so the prisoners know exactly where they are being incarcerated. And over here at our five star Elizabeth City Park, we had a fantastic name suggestion. The Rose Tea Botanical Gardens from Sherry Hass. I think I've got your name right there. Excellent suggestion. Also, I saw a lot of the comments saying I was letting people in for free. Yeah, I have. I've, I've accidentally... Um, let's just take these off of here and see if we can put some side gates in. Let me just grab that with the picker mod. Oh, it's like trying to... Uh, no, it didn't let me. Okay, we'll do it this way. Let's grab our park side gates. So we'll have one there and one there. And then I can just connect this back up again. There we go. There we go. Not quite lined up, but that will do. Uh, these are okay now. This doesn't connect. That only connects to the road. This one here, we never connected up. So let's do that. Let's grab that road again. And we'll connect to that one. In fact, that could go right into... Oh, no. Hang on. Don't want it to connect to that road. How about we connect it to over here? Look, this will be perfect. There we go. That gate's connected, this gate's connected, that gate's connected, no other connections around here, and then nobody's coming through the side gates down here anymore. Oh, I just saw it. Look, that is a perfectly placed gate, and you're proving me a liar. There we go. I think they'll be fine now. Anyway, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Nice name suggestion and some cool fixes as well. And then finally, the last name suggestion for today for our clothing factory comes from Asaf Galani. And I thought this was a fantastic suggestion. The T-shirts factory. So there we go. Thank you very much for that suggestion. So we've got a couple of other factories that need naming as well. We've got the food factory. We've got the sneaker factory, the electronics factory. What else have we got down here? Industrial steel plants, lemonade factory, although that is normally the iced tea factory. Did I not already rename that one? Household plastic factory. So if there's any names that you have that you can suggest, please leave them in the comments below. And also, if you're not subscribed, why not? Let's do a shout out for that as well. Subscribe so you can enjoy all the City Skyline content we have on this channel. So now we're going to take a look at the advanced parking AI in Traffic Manager. So if you want to get Traffic Manager, have a little search on the Steam Workshop for TMPE or Traffic Manager Present Edition. I've got the latest version here. And then if you go into your options for your game, so let's go down to here, Traffic Manager, and under Gameplay, so here we have the Advanced AI, which you always want to have turned on. I have it sort of set to that. And here's the Parking AI, Enable More Realistic Parking. So let me just do a quick game save, and then we'll give that a go. Okay, so I'm going to just look at the use of my CPU for the game before and after turning this on, actually. So it's about sort of 18% at the minute, even if I sort of zoom in, run the speed faster i'm up to sort of 26 30 percent yeah it's about 30 percent something like that so you want to be aware that this will use more cpu cycles so we're going to turn that on and we're just going to see how that goes let's zoom in again i mean it hasn't really changed much for me but yeah still 30 percent what's that going to do that is the question well that's going to stop pocket cars so now if we go into the traffic uh info screen we can start looking at the colours of the building. So whereas before you would just look at the colours of the road, so red, a bit of traffic, or well-used road, now the colours of the buildings will give you some more information. Uh, if they are red, then it shows you that there is a need for parking in the area. At the minute, all the buildings are looking pretty green to me, which is really, really good. I'm just wondering whether it needs to run for a little bit. Look, here's an example. Here we go. So this car, uh, this uh, house here, this, what is this building? The park residence 
is in need of some nearby parking. At the moment, that is the only building in my entire city. But we're going to let it run for a while and see uh, whether some other ones change. But actually, that is not bad, is it? I'm really happy with that. The other uh, change of information that it gives you, if you go into your transport tab, you can now switch your view from outgoing to ingoing demand. So again, buildings that are red, let's have a look. So we've got it on outgoing demand. So if any buildings are red, it means that they are not getting their demand for mass transit when they leave the building field perfect example here we go the sparty university so when people leave this they don't get their demand field to get somewhere uh let's have a look on ingoing i bet that's bad for this one as well actually incoming is not too bad but outgoing pretty rubbish so what options do we have around here as you saw uh we do have in fact if i turn on that option on there so we do have a bus that comes up here it does stop outside that's probably not a very well used bus. And then we've got our big hub over here. I'm just wondering whether on match day that becomes a bit of a problem. When's the next match that's coming up? Uh, next match, 17th of the 2nd, 21 26. So next year. I'm just wondering on match days whether we could do with extra, extra buses here. That might just be the issue. Also, walking. If they were going to walk, they could walk around there. They can still walk around here and get to this main hub. So actually, that's probably not too bad. We could even add another little walking path through here. It would probably actually be a really good idea. That's just... Oh, there's a fence there. Okay, well, that's all right. If we just delete that fence. I'm not uh, charging people to go through this park, so don't worry about that. We're going to add a fence there. So that will give them another option. They can walk through here to get to where they want to go. So over time, that may improve that one. So we'll come back and check that. So let's leave that on outgoing at the moment. So everybody else over here, we'll come back to our farm. We've got a few fixes that we need to do over there. So this is all looking okay. This is all looking okay. So everything that side of the river is looking okay. What about down here? Here we go. Look, we've got some problems down here. So we've got... The oppression office. So how many visitors? It got 69 visitors a week. It is right by a monorail station. But I tell you what, I'm wondering whether they're trying to get to places where we're not providing access. So look, a lot of these are coming in and out via the highway. Uh, I've lost it. Where is it? Here it is. Let's just see what the ingoing is as well. So that's outgoing. Income is not too bad. So they can get here okay. And actually, even when they leave, it's going green. I think they're realizing there are plenty of buses i'm just wondering whether this bus this black bus route is like horrendous it goes everywhere could we just have a stop down on this road so like this one let's go into buses 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 this one here i need to after doing all my bus routes before this route here just seems like it's all over the place doesn't it yeah, we're going to add a couple of routes out there, see if that will help. What about the rest of the buildings on this island? They're all okay. And this one's all okay. So actually, for outgoing, we're looking like we're okay. What about incoming? So this is from people from other parts of the city, or I believe outside of the city, trying to come into that building. Can they get in? I think we've just done our mass transit so well that we just have no problems at all. We've got a few over here. So people are trying to come in to... Let's just put this back on. In. So that's the Victoria residence. Yeah, that one there. What's this one over here? The Cooper residence. And there was another one, wasn't there? This one here sterling residence so just looking at this i can see that there is a bus route that goes down and stops up here so we could actually help with that we're going to bring that and stop it right down here there's like a park here as well so that's going to help with that and this one here i'm just going to move it a little bit further down yeah we'll see whether that helps so that's incoming oh and also down here look 
So maybe with that bus route move further down, that's going to help that. So we have to come back and check that. Let's check this main island. Uh, Orlando, I should say. That's looking all okay. Yeah. Lots of people struggling to get to these. But to be honest, they're tucked right in the middle of the park. And we've got monorail like right outside. So when they come off the monorail, they walk and they're at the entrance. There's probably not a huge amount we could do for those. They can literally get there and they just need to walk a bit <laughs> and deal with it. But the rest of that is looking pretty much okay so now the game has run a little bit longer look we're getting more red buildings popping up under the parking ai so what i'm going to do is we're going to fix our farm because there was a few little questions about that and then i'm going to leave the game running for maybe 10 15 20 minutes and we'll see how good yeah lots of parking problems coming up over here how good our parking is in the city so we'll come back to that but let's nip over to green tea fields farm so a couple of things uh, when i move the farm from over this area here which is now our factory area and put it over here i actually deleted a load of sheep <laughs> they disappeared off to sheep heaven and people are saying, oh, that's why you're importing, because I'm importing some stuff. You're importing animal products. Well, no, I'm not, um, because the slaughterhouse here will take crops that we're making plenty of and turn them into animal products. They just seem to have that built-in ability to feed animals that they've got out here, look, and they will make animal products. And then we've got the milking parlors. Again, we'll both do exactly the same thing. They've got all these cows in the back, and they will make animal products for us. Um, and we have plenty of animal products here. We've got this warehouse has got some in. That's the thing that's using them. And then some of them are being taken over here. So that is not the issue. What might be the issue is over on this roundabout. Oh, auto save. Quick sip of tea. Mm. And I made this mistake before. Thank you for telling me. So I built the roundabout. Um, I connected the on and the off ramp. And then I did the traffic manager priority signs control shift click and it did all the giveaway signs and stuff and look you spotted it because i didn't have the north and the south road connecting there it's automatically put these lines across here so nobody can turn off and actually go down here <laughs> from this roundabout so we're going to delete that and then control left click with the lane arrows to give access there and then we're also going to delete that there and control left click and do the same and that should be okay. Everything else is set up all right. So we've got giveaway signs there. Giveaway signs there. So that should be fine. So now that means that this road, which hasn't got any people on, will have access. But it also means people can drive in and out the city, which will be really helpful. Uh, also, I mentioned here that I've got these facing the main road. Um, so vehicles are coming out there, perhaps causing some problems. I could just turn these round to face the other way which means they're going to sort of stick out a bit like that and then i'll just use the move it mod to line them up again there we go so that keeps any vehicles off the main road they all come up here onto the frontage roads i suppose you call them and then what i might just do is turn these around as well so they've got use of their own road rather than the same one that they're on so i think that will ooh, that will help and the other thing that was mentioned was to remove all the concrete i tell you why i put the concrete in here is because in my mind these sort of are all factory things um so i sort of go oh we'll put some concrete in there but i tell you what why not let's remove the Let's remove all the concrete and then we've got some nice grass in there. And then maybe let's add a few trees around in here just to sort of try and make it feel a little bit more farm-like. And we'll go with that instead. There we go. I might just add a teeny... To God, give me, give me just a little bit of concrete. Just a tiny bit. I'm just going to add some in this area here. If I can do it without messing up. Let's go to 15. Messing up the roads on the outside yeah there we go i think that looks much better i like that i might continue to tweak this area we shall see and then over here along the top and uh, there was a few suggestions i don't know what you think about this i quite liked it about putting some wind turbines up here um here we go this seems like just like this little ridge along here seemed like a good spot for them so if i turn off pop and tree anarchy and anarchy and we might just pop one two 
three along there. Do you know what? That looks like a pretty cool place for those. I like it. I like it. Excellent. How are people? Oh, look, people are coming on and off the highway here, doing all sorts of cool stuff. That is what we want to see. Now everybody's using this road at the back and they're struggling to get in and out because I've turned all these things around. Ah, we'll leave it running. We'll be fine. Okay, so the game has been running for a few moments now. Let's take a look at how the parking AI is affecting things. And it is having a big change. Lots of red. Uh, this place isn't too bad, but this is, these are the places people want to visit and lots of red. So basically what's happened is, is we've removed the option for the citizens to whip a car out of their pocket and drive somewhere. If there is a parking space nearby, which as we'll see, look, these are getting more filled up. They will use that. Um, but look, like we can see here look, all these cars nowhere to park and we have some issues with the parking so let's just stick with the rose tea botanical gardens as we're here and this also includes the academic library lots of people want to visit this so i think we need to increase our parking and redo some stuff here so let's just move some of these little park items over to here so now we can add i mean for this area we are going to add some more of these little parking lots that we already have i've also downloaded a load of new parking stuff so we've got the big parking lot roads which we're going to try out and we've also got some underground parking as well plus the parking road that comes with the game so we've got a lot of options which is good so let's give some more of these a go in here and see how we get on Okay, there we go. A lot more parking spaces in this area. We can see it's sort of updating itself and cars are moving in and out. That's because I used the Move It mod on here and moved it updated. So we'll see how that goes for that little spot there. But actually, that looks to me like a much more realistic parking. Look, all the spaces are filled. Anywhere we've got parking, they're getting filled. We'll come back to that one. Let's have a look at this one over here. So what have we got here? We've got the courthouse. 56 people are visiting this courthouse. Uh, all the parking that is in here has already been filled up to the max. So I'm wondering if we could perhaps utilize maybe this little area here. It's nearby. Uh, we've got a school here. Could we just move that school? Let's just have a look. Let's put this on first. Pop it on there. There we go. Excellent. We had anarchy on. So if there's a building in there, that will disappear. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of that from here. And we're going to designate this as a parking area so i think for this one here we'll add a little access road uh, let's take this one here two-way road no parking uh, that's going to come into there i know it's quite near to that junction there but i'm not thinking it's going to be that busy then we're going to take this one and place that sideways on there excellent so that gives us a few extra parking spots in there I'm just wondering whether if we move that over a bit, we could actually fit some more in. Do you know what? I'm going to take that, that, and that. There we go. We do it like that, just to get some extra parking in there, and then we could fill the rest in with some trees. There we go. Just adding some fences and trees around here, and already we can see people are piling in and parking their cars here, which is this guy's going up and around, which is exactly what we want to see. Very, very good. So hopefully, then over time, let's just give that here. This guy's coming in here. Look. He's going off to park. Very good. They're coming out to park. Coming out from the park. Car park. Oh, get me teeth in. There we go. Anyway, you get the idea. So let's see. So hopefully over time, these red buildings here will go down a bit. What is this here? School of Environmental Studies. That has a huge need for parking, as does the School of Education, the Grand Library. So we don't actually have a car park in here, do we? Oh, we do we got this one here? But it doesn't seem to count that as being connected as the road is over this way. Or is this thing not working at all? There's literally nobody parking in here. I've had a few people say that these don't work as a car park. And you know what? I think I believe them. So I am going to remove all of these. And then we're going to replace that with, let's have a look, car braking. No, nope, that ain't going to be the thing. Car parking. Nope. Third time it's a charm. There we go. 
Okay, so I've cleared out all the trees in this space here. We are going to use the big parking lot. So you can uh, just search for big parking lots. You'll find those uh, online. We're going to start off with the drive, which is going to come into there. We're then going to take the border and you need to go in a counterclockwise or anti-clockwise direction. And then as you're going along your length, uh, I... I sort of do it like this. So I know that one's going to be for parking spaces. That won't be. Parking spaces won't be. Parking spaces won't be. Parking spaces won't be. And then if I go all the way to the end like that. So we need to come down one more. There we go. Then when we put our filler in, we're always going to have that little bit of space. There we go. Excellent for our parking spaces. So now what I can do, if I've done this right, is I can put these, yeah, on both sides. So we're going to have some accessible parking sort of at the front of these sections. There we go, then we can add the rest of our parking in as well. I think these cubes will just fill up the space, which is good. Yeah, there we go, so we'll just take these. Excellent, we don't have any clipping problems or anything like that. We do have the problems where I don't place the darn things correctly, so <laughs> we'll do that again. Let's pick that one. And there we go, excellent, that's really good. I like that. And then what I might just do is just see if I can add this road. Hmm, how am I going to do this? If I bring it over there, and then I'm going to get the Move It mod. And maybe do that to give access. I think that's going to work. That looks okay. So that should be now. There we go. Actual working car park, which is fantastic. There we go. So this is getting well used, which is fantastic. I've added an extra access over here, which hopefully isn't going to cause too many problems. I've made it give way. Um, we shall see. I might just actually upgrade a couple of these roads to asymmetric roads as it is going to start getting busy. There we go. That should be fine. Look at that. Look at all these cars coming and going in this car park. Excellent. So that should help this area around here. We'll keep an eye on that. Right, now we come over here to Sugar Cube Square. Absolutely no parking in this area at all. None. Not a bean. So I am wondering whether we should remove one of these buildings. Because it's this central section that really needs the parking. So let's have a look. I think... Ooh, I quite like the difference of those buildings there. This one here is right opposite the hospital. So I think in this one, we're going to try the spiral underground parking. We have the version that connects to a small road and the version that connects to a large road. By the way, if you ever want to find any of these items I'm using, just look at the name of them when I hover over them, and then you can look it up on the Steam Workshop yourself. So there we go. We're going to add that there. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. I'm liking that. I just want to change this junction so it's not traffic lights. There we go. Just to keep people on the main road going. Um, I'm also going to do control left click there to give them dedicated lanes coming in. Oh, look at this little toll thing. Does that actually go up and down or not? Uh, sadly, no. But, you know, that's fine. And I think that looks okay, actually, doesn't it? That actually looks pretty good. Now, I believe this has 80 parking spots. Does it actually say in here it doesn't i believe it's 80 i might be wrong on that one but i'm sure i read that somewhere not too expensive oh it says visitor capacity 450 i don't think it's 450 uh parking spaces that's just the sort of entertainment visitor type figure but that fits in there really really well so hopefully that will help all of this area here and if we need another one we could always pop it over here i don't know whether there's ever going to be a way to see that this is filled up but look how many people are using it absolutely brilliant so how about over here at the tokyo olympic stadium yep this thing is bright red there is no parking over here at all and this is getting lots and lots of visitors now we had this sort of spot over here that people said i could turn this into parking but i'm not entirely sure how i'm gonna attach that to the rest of the roads we've got here we've got this road that comes up we've got this bit of parking here that just doesn't work <laughs> nobody's using it which is a shame because i put all those on all four corners mm. okay took a lot of fiddling around but this is what we had before 
And this is what we've got now, which is just using these little normal parking assets. This one here, car park, two by four. And that fits in and that works really well. A little one new road going around the back. Yeah, I like that. Excellent. Probably could just do with saying give way there, give way there. But yeah, that one works okay. So I think what I'm going to do is replace all of these in the corners. Uh, yeah, we've only got these other two corners. And then, yeah, we've definitely got working parking lots to hopefully deal with this big red parking problem that we have here. There we go. So I'm pleased how that has turned out. We'll need to give that some time for the parking AI information thingamajiggy to update. Let's come back over here to the Rose Tea Botanical Gardens. Has what we've done over here with the car parks helped? Yes, it's now not red anymore. There's no huge amounts of traffic coming in and out and the parking is all used really well. Fantastic. Okay, so just over here back with our underground parking, I'd like to change this road here and hopefully not break this thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, save the game and have a quick sip of tea. And it's so hot today. Mm. A nice cooling cup of tea. Then I'm going to use the touch it mod over here, which means I can touch that road there and it unlocks it from this build. Looks to me actually like a one new road. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do this. Let's just take one of these. That's probably going to be far too wide. Let's do it anyway. Do you know what? That has fit in actually. Okay. So let's give that two lanes coming out, one lane going in. And once everybody's calmed down and worked out that those extra lanes they can use. Okay, and another place that had terrible parking was the School of Environmental Studies. That building was bright red. Look at it now. The only bright red building is this one over here that was on fire. But yeah, that parking lot there has really, really helped as well. Okay, back over at Sugar Cube Square. I've changed this road back to what it was before. I just rebuilt the car park. It seemed to break it. I've also added a second one over here. And I just need to remember to change these to give way so they're not traffic lights. There we go. And that seems to have helped this area here. A lot of these were red, uh, but now they've gone down to green, which means the parking situation is okay, which is fantastic. So I've been asking on my Discord, what is the best way to judge how much parking you need somewhere? And it seems to be the general consensus that you look at the visitors that are here. I know that sort of makes sense. But I was asking anyway because, you know, sometimes the game works in different ways, different AIs from different mods. You know, it might use different figures. But it seems that if you get, say, 100 visitors a week, then 100 parking spots uh, would be fine. If you have a look at this one here, it sort of does tend to go sort of heading towards the red colour. But, I mean, each of these holds 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8. So that's 80 parking spaces, 160. You know, we've got tons of parking here. Um, of course, that's going to be used by other people around in the area as well. But definitely, you can see not so red there. Couple of red buildings here, but now we're taking care of most of it with the parking. Uh, this park is doing okay. This area over here, not so good. I mean, it's not so not terrible, but what have we got? 53 visitors, not enough car parks there. So what I'm going to do, I've actually downloaded a whole load of car park assets. King Leno makes a load of good parking garages. Oh, there's all sorts of ones here. What I will do is I will put a link to a collection that was shared with me i believe it was um was it archangel from my server for my discord server yeah all right let's see what this one here looks like that is not too bad that was this one there we go medium parking garage number two eight by four that actually fits in there quite well and already there's a load of cars parked in there let's go into first person mode and have a look at this Oh, driving through the wall, flying up the side. What the heck? Oh, my goodness me. What the heck are you doing? Yeah, there's a couple of idiosyncrasies with the uh, with the parking AI. But I'm happy to live with that to get these to work properly. Buildings are growing over the top. Let's just fix that. 
Uh, if we go into here and we're going to remove, let's go this way and remove whatever's there. There we go. Please do not live inside a parking garage. That is not good for your health. But we want to see whether that helps with the parking situation here. Yeah, it looks like it could be assisting already, which is fantastic. So I think, generally speaking, this is, that's gone red again over there. Generally speaking, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, over here we have our library, and I don't think there's any parking over here. Yeah, also what we've got, you see, is we've got grass all around our roads, which means there's no road parking at all. Well, how about we just see if we can use this bit of space at the back here instead. Let's just take this road across here like that. And I've got this one. Oh, it's just too big. What about that? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Make sure Prof and Trianarchy is off. There we go. Look, there's a few parking spaces. Probably could do with the land flattened out a bit, but that's okay. How many visitors say we're getting here? 46. What have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 24. Probably not quite enough. Could we then fit some down the side here as well if we just connect these roads up? And now I've taken up any space where I could have put some parking. How <laughs> about over here instead? Yeah, let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that road. Unfortunately, destroy that building a tiny bit. There we go. And have that in there. I'm just going to level this out. Yeah, these are working really well. Um, I've just added some paths around here as well. A couple of trees around there. There we go. And then I just switched this one up a bit, added a few more trees around the back, a path that runs along here, which people are using. And already people are coming to park in here, which is fantastic. So hopefully, there we go. Look, it's not as red as it was before. That's really good. What is this traffic? I spy. Oh, it's up in here. Oh my goodness. What the heck is going on? This was all working perfectly fine before and it's all completely died a death. What? is going on right okay let's just fix a couple of things i can see here you go through and don't stop and probably the same here as well go through and don't stop what so they're all trying to come up there you're trying to come up there as well have i stopped people leaving somewhere by mistake you're all trying to come in here to drop stuff off and then you can't they're all they all want to come up and leave here because actually that's not for the reason i thought i thought this was going to be the shortest route and they were all coming down this way turn off pedestrian cyclist private vehicle public transport just want trucks so they're all coming out there around there to go back around there into here look at that it's just started moving ever so slightly so why don't they come and this isn't one way either so they could go the other way and round. That is really odd. And then what's happening here? This is all, they're all coming up there to drop stuff into these. And this is all, oh, why? Mm, okay, I'm just going to watch this for a minute or two. Why is this suddenly an issue when it was not a problem before? <laughs> what have I done? Okay, they seem to be getting stuck up here as well. Instead of just going through, I think it's just a huge... Are they picking up or dropping off? Delivering to the grain silence. So what are these all set on? They're all set on balance. That's probably not helping. We do need crops around in these places. We've got all of those crop storage. All of the crops being made. And then it's like these need the crops... That needs the crops. That's animal products. That's another store. We've got so much storage. And we probably don't need that much. I'm going to delete every other one. Which might just make some trucks disappear. And I'm also going to delete... Actually, I'm going to delete that one as well. And just have these ones. And then let's just see what these guys are doing here. So they're all going left. Then they're all coming up there. And then they're all cutting through here. Instead of going straight on... Let's just check this road here. Let's turn prop and tree anarchy off. So if we pick that one there. So they're going up there. A lot of them just to turn around and come back down again. Which is odd. And some are going up here. So these... Let's have a look at what they're, where they're going. Oh, returning to facility. Right, okay. So they're coming out of there, dropping it off there, and then coming back again. Okay, that does make sense, what's happening. I think perhaps having deleted some of that, I've just put another little asymmetrical road in here, which I'm going to just change what that says at the end there. So we've got one left, one right. There we go. 
and we might just find that this moves along a bit better and i think these need to be bigger roads yeah we need a small four lane road in here because there's just not enough room i'm going to do that this one here we're going to do a control left click so we get straight on and a left there we go look and that's probably then oh don't want traffic lights there that's probably then gonna just give them enough space to keep on moving not get in each other's way i'm even gonna do this one here as well look and then i'm gonna do control left click there so you get dedicated turning lanes and i think that should sort this bit out oh there's so many hmm let's just leave it running for a bit see what happens Yeah, there we go. That's much better. I've just put some traffic lights up here to help these trucks get in and out. And with less storage set on balance, it means there's less goods coming in, less traffic overall, and it's working much better. Right, let's get back to our parking problems. So I am wondering why this is always red over here. And I think even though we've got plenty of parking spaces to deal with the visitors, I think these people here are using them. <laughs> uh, we do have over here a little parking thing that we set up before. But as we know... These things just don't work. Nobody parks in them, which is a real shame. That's an opportunity missed there. But what I'm going to do... Oh, no! Oh, I deleted the rock. I really didn't mean to do that. Come on. You're going to have to remember your brother, Rock. As you come over here to your new abode. Uh, there we go. I'm going to pick you there and not destroy any other rocks. Oh, that's such a shame. But never mind, never mind. And then finally, back over our university area, we've got the Grand Library, we've got the Central Park, and we've got the Public Library. Oh, with absolutely tons of visitors. This car park we put in over here is taking care of the School of Environmental Studies. Um, but yeah, all of this. And I want to use this little spot here, which means we're going to have to just do a little bit of jiggery-pokery. We're going to take this road here. Um, yeah, I want this as close to the back here as possible. Let's anarchy that in. Then we can pop this path. Can I? Oh, can't grab that path. But God, it's not a path. Let's grab that path there. There we go. And we're going to put that back in at the side. And then I've got a university car park by King Leno, which I think will be fantastic along here. Let's just slide that road over a bit. Zoop, there we go. Now, if we can fit this in here, that would be great. It's going to butt up against that railway line, but we're going to fix that. So let's pop that in there. Yeah, that looks nice. That's a nice building, isn't it? But then, yeah, I just need to fix this railway line along the back. There we go. That's fine. Moved it over, put a bit of fencing in. And this fits in really, really well. So that should give us a whole host of extra parking over in this area. And I think that looks really nice. So that was from King Leno. Oh, things are working over here. This is not bright red anymore. I added some more parking over here, as you saw. Did I squeeze some more in somewhere else? I can't remember. I've been going around the city squeezing parking in everywhere. This parking we put in, which means this isn't red anymore. This one is. We could do with perhaps adding something in here. We've got this little space at the end. Uh, let's see what we can do. There we go. That one fits under there perfectly. That's added some more spaces. Maybe that will help what we're getting. 81 visitors. I think we're probably going to need a few more spaces there. I quite like this one here. Parking two by two. Because on little plots like this, we've got a little bit of concrete. You could squeeze in. I wonder if that's going to be a bit... Yeah, not that one there. We'll take that one out. But you can squeeze in some parking spaces where you wouldn't necessarily think... You are able to. I've got some here. Put some over here. Some over here in between these buildings. I'm enjoying actually finding any little teeny tiny spots where we can put some parking. <laughs> oh, this along here. This along here has got to be parking. All these trees are going. We are filling this with parking. And I know there's some parking there already, but now it's got even more parking than it had before. Fantastic.
I just cannot get enough spaces around this thing here to stop it being red. It's getting 100 visitors a week on average. This has got 256 spaces. This has got more than 80. This has got more than 80. This has got more than 80. <laughs> and it's still red. I don't know why. I'm having doubts as to the complete working of the parking AI, even though I've been told directly by the devs that, yeah, there's a couple of bugs, but it should be working. Mm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. So what do you think about the parking AI in Traffic Manager? I love the fact that it adds something new to the game, something interesting. It's one of those things that makes you make different decisions in your building and adds to the way the game works. I just absolutely love that in the game. So I'm going to leave it on for now, even though I'm not 100% convinced that it works 100% of the time. <laughs> we'll have to sort of see as we go along, but I'm certainly going to be going around the city and adding some more parking in into lots of different places. Uh, I Just whatever I do, I can't get this thing. <laughs> to stop being red but i've been squeezing in parking in all sorts of other little teeny tiny places and i love it i love the way that it looks oh this one's been really used well so we're going to keep doing it and we're going to see how it helps in our city but let me know what you think in the comments below thank you as always for watching for supporting my channel i do really really appreciate it and i will see you all very soon have a fantastic day take care Bye bye